All right, let's open up in breaks. Uh, oh God, that is tiny. <laughs> gotcha, I gotta fix that later. Uh, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Whoever's right, here already, if not, cool. Anyway, feeling the title of the thing was self-explanatory. This is also technically like a proxy test to see how this new setup works, the whole stream thing layout that i'd made because you see the deer days logo on the bottom yes we'll be i'll be using this for streaming deer days when it comes out i really hope you guys can hear me am i just talking into the void or am i actually coming out because there's moving bars of audio telling me i can i am speaking to you guys but until you guys tell me something i don't know <laughs> um can anybody hear me Right, I did put it on low latency. Okay, we hear you. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the setup for the days. I'm going to work on chat next time to make it a little bit bigger in the sense of just seeing the text. But I like how it looks right now. I'm not going to change the size of the text box. I'm just going to change the size of the fonts and shit. But yeah, this is going to be the setup. Um, sweet. Everything seems to be working. I was a little bit scared on the rotating card and everything that was going to crash my computer, but... So far, so good. It does sound like it's going to take off, but we'll see. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, it's gonna be trying to get used to streaming and getting used to looking at chat constantly. That's a skill set that streamers have that is fascinating. Just being able to work and just glance and respond and glance and respond and glance and respond. Uh, what program do you use to make the stream layouts look solid? Uh, technically made it myself. The <laughs> sure, why not? Let's do some little behind the scenes while, while we're here. And then not gonna do these when we actually start streaming these. days. Um, that's one overlay. It's literally just a PNG f uh, photo, and then you see the background. Basically, the background's what's left over, and then everything else is a video input. So made it myself. PNGs, movies, exports, After Effects, and all that shenanigans. Uh, I feel ashamed that I come to. I was planning, like we actually, our group planned to come to Italy. The problem was we registered a month before Italy would happen, thinking, oh yeah, that's soon enough, and then figured out, oh, they don't have enough spots. You need a check mark to participate. Oh, we didn't get a check mark. <sighs> yeah, I guess we're not going. Um, <laughs> so next year, Spring Fest. If I'll oh, grant that I might go to Italy for a different reason for Y Schwartz, but we'll see what happens with that. But Spring Fest Italy, if it happens, I'm definitely gonna be there. Uh oh yeah, I got you. So it's a separate asset, just yeah, exactly. It's just a PNG that has transparency, and I also made a um movie file, a video file with alpha layers, so it also has just transparencies. Alright. That being said, for those of you who know usually how these things or how proxies get made work, it's not a fast process. It takes a while, so I don't want to talk here for too long and waste time. Waste time. We're just gonna go straight into it. But my mic is where I feel like it's good. All right. Uh, first off, like always, let's just get dragon. Oh god, <laughs> I'm gonna turn you off. We don't uh, view original there. I'm gonna do Dragon Empire first, cause why not? Okay, it's Dragon Empire. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen cards. Beautiful. I love where it's even numbers. I don't have to do shit. I'm not gonna be reproxying the triggers since we already have those. So just the new eight cards. I oh, know tricks over set six. That's right. All right. Uh, yep. I don't need to save. Yeah. So. Oh, wait. No, that's. Oh, yeah. Save the downloads. He's real cool. I can feel my computer. I won't say struggling, but not running butter smooth. It's still butter, but not butter smooth. go that's expensive order but a good one there we go there we go there we go come on you the last one no damn it oh god i hate that sometimes there you go come on all right last card boom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. All right, now we can start. Oh God! Like I said, it's a skill set to look at chat. Oh God! We hear you. Okay, so not much has happened. Uh, I was feeling about Jeweled so far as a deck. I love Jujul. Jujul is one of my favorite decks already, and I can't wait to actually build it physically. We can't wait to build it physically. Like, it's such a fun deck. It's probably going to be my second main next to Bruce. And I'm just going to fucking love I love the deck. Like, I just love the deck. There's no, not much to say. I love Jujul. Oh, 
Oh, if the stream crashes at any point, I think I know why it's gonna do it. I'm just hoping it doesn't do it. <laughs> and I'm hoping that the new system I got in place is gonna have it, um... Just keep going. Like, I can reconnect. Instead of just... Oh, stream stopped. Oh well, because... For many of you that you don't know, before when we streamed, we used OBS Streamlabs. And it's honestly a decent program. But it had so many glitches and it crashed a lot. So Alex convinced me, hey, let's use OBS. So we're using OBS and it's working so much better, man. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, so this is. Boop. Let's see here. Phase 5, Dragon Empire, and Boost at 7. There we go. Vyrena, and you're on spot number one. I also got to remember to set these to. Ah, uh, come on. 1000 pixels, or PPI technically. That's a big image, but it works. Uh, new current just support reveal is kind of cool, but still curious why Steam Breath needs uh, to diss itself for another copy of current jet. We might see it at next stage for a reason. I don't know yet. Like, we already talked about this on Vtime, and Eric brought it up in his own video. So we're going to see. Love Dark States. Yes. I think the stream did, uh, did lag for a bit, but thankfully no crash. Stream lagging. I mean, I am streaming at 60 FPS. I was supposed to be streaming at 60 FPS. Gotcha. I'm going to start streaming in 30 FPS from now on. I'm scared to change that setting midstream. <laughs> I think it looks good. If, if anything starts crashing or lagging, please do let me know. I don't want to be two frame heroes again. This is such a cool card. That's the one thing I do love about the new Overdress reboot. Everything is generic. Every most of the stuff can be generic because of nations, so it can be in any deck. It doesn't specifically go in one deck, and then you can just mix and match. Like brainwashed, uh, uh, Swirl? No. brainwash, Swirl. brainwash, Swirl. brainwash. The uh, Dark Sage, uh, Soul, Soul Charge 1, Game 5, Cave Hero, Grade 3. He's a good example. He's not really meant for any deck. Of course, he goes good in Barrow because he's Soul Charge. Of course, he goes good in other decks, yada, yada, yada. But he's so generic, you can put him anywhere. Like, put him in Chaos. You got a good beater if you play it right. <laughs> uh, put it in Bruce with Pandemonium. Look, you got a big ass beater. Uh, put it in Barrow and just go swinging for 90 on the first attack because you can. Because you can. Boom. Uh, I really hope I can keep up just saying random bullshit off the top of my head real as I'm doing this. Because I know it's at one point I'm just going to... Oh, let's see, clean this. Now we'll do it later. Uh, at a cer certain point I'm just going to shut up and focus. That's how, so just how I work. Just shut up and do it. Up, what's up? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Should see a new window pop up. There it is. All right, our first proxy made. Let me just double check. Nice, nice. All right, cool. One down. I have honestly no clue how many more to go. Let's see, 18 in Dragon Empire. That's nine proxy sheets. Let's say all of them have the same amount. So that's times five. So that's 45 proxy sheets we're going to be making today. Sounds like a lot. But yeah, but we'll get to it. Slow and steady wins the race. And it right. Boop, 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 boop. On a side topic, how's everybody else doing out there? Oh god, not that one. Number three. It's been a crazy couple of weeks already, I feel like. Like, with BCS is starting up. Uh, uh, seeing Chrono Jet, Boost Set 8 starting, Monster Strike finishing. 
Like, it's been a really eventful couple of weeks. So I'm like, all right, how's the community doing? How's everybody else doing with all the shenanigans that's been currently going on? Uh, have you uh, have you seen the new Eva? Yes, and Fegria. Yes, yes, they did chaos dirty. I will completely agree. All of the orders that the lore sets are getting, that the glitter cards are getting, all of them but chaos are fucking amazing. And then you look at chaoses from Booster Set Eight, and it's like, why did you do this to my son? Why did you do this to my boy? Why have you forsaken me, Bushy? Not 12. Dude, Jesus Christ, not 12. It's like, Tamayura's order. Yeah, yeah, it's Soul Blast 2, but you get two free units on the board, and if you don't have anything to play, it's a two, one for two. Did I save this properly? Oh, good. Don't do that. And then, so yeah, Tamayura's is just good, and combined with Broken Dollars, it's just fucking amazing. Uh, and then you go over to Thegria's order. Just being able to do Thegria, period. On your first grade three ride is already is like, well, they got there. Ah, uh, it's an act ability. From the Thegria is an act ability, right? The new Thegria order is an act ability. So you can counterblast one if you manage to put in Dark Thegria into Soul through, uh, and have light on the... Uh, on the on the Vanguard. No, what am I doing? Um, if you have Light Thegger on the Vanguard and you manage to put Dark Thegger into your soul, you can plus one. You make. Mm, you can plus one. You make a board. So you look at top five, call three units, and then you can activate the order. Go to Dark Thegger. Now you have two Vanguard swings and a board. I think that works. It's an activability, right? The new order is an activability. Grids? Oh, grids. One sec. Let me finish this proxy and I'll answer that question. Rip. Boop. This is really giving me good practice of talking and working at the same time. <laughs> or thinking. Uh, Alright, where was I? Uh, what software are you using and how do you make those grids? I am using Adobe Illustrator. And those are literally just lines that have been locked into the canvas. So you just make a line, you make it a dotted line, you make it light blue, and then you lock it into the grid so you can't select it and it's just locked in there. And it basically works as a grid. <laughs> uh, the grid doesn't serve any uh, technical purpose for me when I'm doing this stuff, other than if I really need to realign everything I have it. The grid's more there just so whenever people or myself are cutting the cards, it's a lot easier to see where to cut. <laughs> Hello, hello. Uh, what software? Okay, I just. Uh, how's your day so far? I'm here streaming at 6 p.m. I don't know what time it is for anybody else that's watching out there in the ether. But for right now, it's pretty chill. Once I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna eat something and go to bed, and then wake up at 5 a.m. to get in my workout and I gotta beat Solomon Worlds. Uh, on how to make your proxies video, it, proxy video, uh, is in the works. It's literally just, I know how I'm going to make it. I just need to make it. That's it. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, this bubble. When Eugene got this card, everything changed. <laughs> it's like, oh. Overlord 2.0. <laughs> My God. This is such a good card. It's a hard condition to meet, honestly. Like you, you if I'm not remember, if I remember correctly, your opponent's Vanguard is great through good, and they have no rear guards. Yeah, so they have to have no rear guards for you to do this, which in Eugene is hard and easy at the same time. Like you got to be very careful because most of the time some of your really good triple rares and great double rares in Eugene can only retire grade twos or greater which means if your opponent fills a board with grades ones and zeros aka fucking Bob Sagaro when we did that video it gets a lot harder to retire their stuff speaking of Bob Sagaro 
So you gotta find, you gotta put in more tech options and other cards that can kind of get rid of grade ones and grade zeros a lot easier. And, you know, make sure you board wipe. And then the deck just runs. Uh, did I, did I forget? No, I was a smart cookie, sweetness. Um, so yeah, just be careful of grade ones and zeros for Eugene, finding ways to retire those. Like I said, the new, right, the new uh, triple rare that we covered a little while ago. The, this this bubble is really good because he just retires anything in the same column. So he can get rid of those pesky grade ones and zeros. So he's really good. I love him in Eugene, honestly. Because he can even get rid of Trickstar that has resist. Anyway. Correct effect, correct name. Save it over here. And then we go making coffees. One too many. I'm so glad I found this lo-fi station on YouTube. It's got some really good fucking bangers. It's just, just the right amount of chill for when I'm doing this stuff. Uh, Eugene Best Deck. Eugene Best Deck. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new reveals? Oh yeah, I was talking about that and I stopped. Whoops. So Fegra, if she is an act ability, like you can do Light Figure's ability if you have Dark Figure in soul for the maximum output. Make a board, ride Dark Figure from your hand, and now you got a Vanguard swing. Like she's a really good combo piece. It just lets you Fegra faster. And then you go over to Eva. The research is a fucking amazing card because it not only pluses you to board, it's a re another research in your research, uh, in your order zone, so you get to your conditions faster. Not to mention, uh, if you call Obscadate off of that re new research for Eva, and you have the conditions of three researches inside of your order zone, he will be gaining a crit because he was called by an ability. That just makes it even better. How does it do? Soul Blast 1 and something else too? Hold up. Legitimately want to remember the full card. Uh, leaks, 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 leaks. What is it? Uh, when this card is put, yeah. So make sure you and then order zone activate. Soul Blast 1, rest three research cards in your order zone. Choose one of your glitter units and it gets 5k until the end of turn. It's not bad. It makes Obscadate a fun number. So if he's gaining 10k because there's three researches, he's going to gain a crit if he's called by ability. And then, if you use the act ability, he's going to be a 28k on his own if you don't push on a 38. It just hits magic numbers, which is nice. Re resting 3 usually just doesn't do anything for your deck, but Soul Blast is the only thing that's like, eh. So yeah. You got that, you got that, and then you get Red Alina, just like, oh, and not only do I get to call any piece from my drop zone like any good Stoikea deck would, but I also get to make a plant token if I have her. And yes, it does work. If you call Red Alina off the new order, she, the order will see Redlina still on the uh, on the board because it the way the timing works so you can make a plan token So you can call the red Lina out of your drop and make a plan token And it's fucking annoying because it's a good fucking order and Alex is blind So you got all these good new orders for all these good new uh, Or not good new for these lore sets. I can't wait to see what Eva, wait, Fegra, Eva, Chaos, Tommy. Oh, we already saw everybody, right? No, bro. Yeah, we saw everybody. So, out of all of them, Chaos gets shafted because tanking of anger does shit for Chaos. You want it on the rear guards, and then putting normal units from your drop, unless you play Highlander, it's not gonna do you shit. So, why, Bessie? Why you gotta shaft Chaos, man? Why you gotta shaft Chaos? Mm. I'm so sad. Hopefully the new Mikani is good. Like can actually do something and help the deck be better. <laughs> it, I don't need the deck to be meta. I don't need the deck to be amazing. I just need it to be better. Oh, what's up? Not a bad card, but I don't honestly sleep play for it. This one that I'm just making right now. 
It's like, honestly, it's not a bad card. It's a one for one. Like you call it, you retire it, you retire something else. Cool. It doesn't target any specific grades. So it can get rid of grade one zeros, like I was mentioning before. But it's a one for one. Like one for ones, I don't like them. I can see potential, but I don't like them. You minus one, so you minus your opponent one is basically what it's called. And you got a prayer dragon. Prayer dragon was an interesting new mechanic introduced. And it's like, how can we overdress, but different? Well, we still gotta use, oh, damn it. I gotta get unused to saving them because I already have them saved. Uh, how can we, you know, we, can, we still need to use Trickstar, but what else can we do? What if we make a whole new race and make Trickstar overdress with that to make amazing cards? And then when they overdress with them, they give extra effects to the overdress or cross overdress unit. It's like, I like the concept, but did you have to invent a whole new race for it? <laughs> Uh, 0 of 31 and 0 of 32. For anybody by chance, out of the s six people that I know, they will understand this joke. I still have tomato on my keyboard. Uh, where was I? Eugene Bezdek. God. XR finally got a counter charge, definitely ga uh, game changer. Yes, but it's still a promo. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something. Uh, Mendes anime. Yeah. Anime low five. Good shit. Uh, now waiting for the bunny promo. It'll be probably end up coming. Cutting the plus one drive for it since it's. Yeah, the bunny promo is out in English. I actually have been seeing. I think I've been seeing. I think it's out. I think the bunny promo's out, so I can't wait to get my hands on it so I can do some stupid shenanigans when greed on. Uh, what does a day in the life of Philip look like? You'll find out later if I don't forget. Uh, Bakeo says forever getting new support. Technically, you're right, but it's not helping him. <laughs> I can finally run every, uh, every single trigger in my deck to be different. But doesn't matter if I don't soul charge the trigger. I li realized that I was recording that video. I was like, I made every single trigger in my deck different. This is good. I can soul charge none randomly because I don't want to soul charge them intentionally. It's like, I did this pointlessly. <laughs> I must be honest, when I heard uh, Prayer Dragon without uh, context of what the deck or mechanic they would support, honestly thought any uh, they were some new boss support is uh, yeah i can see that because it's like you know seal blaze dragon seal blaze man yada 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 prayer dragons like boss car support hello how are we getting the orphan's grade one promo in english in promo packs i'm pretty sure it's already out but i'm not 100 percent sure uh, they're going to be coming in promo packs that the stores are going to have so if you have a local game store that supplies vanguard they probably hopefully got promo packs that contain that card and if they did not uh, good luck Getting promos in Vanguard is probably one of the hardest things that everybody in this community always has to do. Did I make this? Yes, I did. Moving on. Hey, look, it's Dober. I have this in Bruce, but it, it's better. <laughs> I legitimately, they just made Dober the same exact card that Bruce has. Just it's restricted. That it has to boost Nirvana. Damn it, don't do that. Uh, that has to boost Nirvana. And while over here I'm a Bruce, I do need to be in Final Rush, granted. But at the same time, I can boost anything and give power to anything. It's like, I am superior. Neo before my doggo. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I don't know if you guys have noticed. Bro oh, damn it. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Probably have, probably haven't. But I did start putting more effort into making the proxies in the sense of making the text boxes actually, oh god, actually this, uh, the right sizes, not just, um, oh, brain, oh my god, brain, uh, not just, you know, big scares and then if there's little text, there's a lot of white, if there's big text, I gotta minimize it, so I'm doing that extra little effort. 
it, it did add a little bit of extra time to making proxies, but I feel like it's worth it. And I got used to it to where now it's kind of like a seamless muscle memory in my fingers to do it. Don't need to do that. And I think it like gives the, uh, it gives the proxies a little bit more nicer look. So there's not just a big wall of white on the card for no reason. This one. Okay, this one. This is number six. And then we need to do this maneuver. Not you. This one. Oh, I see what I did. Idiot. I will be calling myself an idiot. A lot. In these streams. Get used to it. Chup, chup. One, two, three. Oh, especially. Oh, God. I just. Especially when we start streaming, dear days. I am going to be calling myself an idiot so many times for so many misplays. <laughs> Oh, uh, but unlike in the physical game, there is no take backs. You misplay in the in the digital game. It's like, oh shit, I, I just did that. Go up here. Where do we go? Ah, yes, this bow. Uh, are we getting the Orpha? Yeah, you hate it when your opponent promo packs and get all the cards that you weren't looking for. I know the feeling. I We got some promo packs over at Leeds when we were buying products at the local vendor over there. Local vendor. At the vendor set up at the event. Like they were handing out promo packs whenever you were buying product. And I was like, open. Nah, I don't need this. Open. I don't need this. Open. I don't need this. Open. I don't need this. So it's like seven promo packs. I don't need any of them. <laughs> the promos, just not the good ones. <laughs> Thank you for that. You hate it when you're. Uh, all right. Yeah. I need to have this up so I can see what's going on. Boop. Boop. All right, where were we? Copy. Paste. Paste. I don't care. It is in the bottom. That's good enough. Oh, I really hope that one glitch doesn't happen. Because if it does, that just means I'm going to have to upload all these proxies later. And I stop streaming. Because I'm not risking the stream breaking down if for, for that one glitch. What's up, what's up? So I need to turn on the fan later. It's getting a little bit warmish. Oh, fuck it, I'll open a window. Hold up, I'll be right back. Oh, I am not a professional streamer. to just open a damn window okay oh yeah this guy eh only good Wait, uh, during your turn this game tempo has front row regards the unit cannot attack of anger and if you're yeah He's good in only two decks, in my opinion. Tamayura, not Tama, wow. Um, Bob Cigar and Eugene. You can technically run it in crossover dress, but you gotta retire. And the other two decks do retire a lot easier. So having a 20k, 3k beater is not bad. Uh, excuse me, oh shit. So copy the ability. I'm gonna copy the name. I'm gonna mess up one of these cards, I just know it. I'm telling you, usually I'm just here. I got something in the background playing. Well, I just focus on this. Talking is fine, but it is multitasking and it is 
Weird. Then I gotta get used to it. If we're gonna stream deer... One too many? If we're gonna stream deer days, I gotta start getting used to be able to talk and do stuff. Because otherwise I'm just gonna be sitting, sitting silently there playing... Ugh. Otherwise I will be just sitting silently there and playing a game and nobody wants to see that. No offense to streamers to do that, but if you sit in silence while playing a game, it's like, yeah, I'm just watching you play a game. I'm not really getting anything out of it. What am I doing? 51 and 52. There we go. The only skill I said I really do need to develop is reading chat. <laughs> Hello. I said thanks for uh, extra time you take. Oh, yeah. No, I, I feel weird saying you're welcome, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah, Attack on Titan Lo-Fi legitimately hits different. Oh, look, Overlord support. <laughs> this is the weirdest card. It's like, give me a Vanguard and unhit ability. I guess with Eugene swinging twice now, I can see it in Eugene as well, but at the same time, a CB for an hit ability, the counter charge is like, it feels bad. This, no, this, yeah. Fine. This unit deer, oh, at least does go into soul, which is one of your vanguards until the turn. When this unit attack hits a vanguard, draw a card. It's got its merits, I'll give it that. It's put song hit pressure on both Overlord and Eugene in all honesty. But damn, it costs a CB. Did I make you already? No, sweet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so used to saving cards when I'm making them on the fly. Like whenever I make proxies for the videos, like for example, what I'm going to be doing here on Thursday when we record the new leaks. And yes, we'll be recording on Thursday. Um, I usually just save the pictures. It's like an in uh, engraved in me, like a, a muscle memory. Yeah. So I gotta stop doing that now because I'm getting the actual official arts from the Japanese side of the website. Go. There you go. Uh, 053 and 054. Just say what you're doing, Philip. It'll help you work and it won't be quiet. <laughs> Alright. Click off. Delete that. Moving on. What's going on over here? Uh, yeah. Honestly, I love Overlord. Like, not love as most people love Overlord, but I do respect him. Cause he's a fun concept for a deck. Like, wasn't he the first freestander technically? The first freestanding Vanguard. So you gotta respect that. But damn, they did not do him. A lot of justice in the first wave in set two. Nope, don't need to save it. Get unused to that. Didn't even remember, so this is 53, I need 55. Oh god. Aha, uh -huh. oh, caught you. Yeah, sometimes if I go with my mouse a little bit too fast, uh, I will drag the images that I selected. If that happens, everything gets a little bit not aligned. As long as you catch it, it's fine. If you don't catch it, then it's a problem. Then you gotta go back, and then you gotta redo everything. Those of you out there who have to redo stuff because it didn't save, or it crashed, or it got corrupted, you know my pain. It is a nightmare. And I don't wish upon this night that nightmare on anybody. Uh, is this Naruto? I feel like this is Naruto. Boop, boop, boop. 
I'm jealous of kanji or, or yeah kanji I think it's kanji just being able to put that much text in a little space uh, this 50 go 4 goes into 56 did I save it again damn it It's like I accidentally saved the image twice. I don't even realize I saved it until I see the file over there. It's like it's muscle memory, I'm telling you. 055. Hey, nope, that's not an end. That's an end. Number three. Double check. Good, good. 3, 16, 17, 18, 31, 32, 33, 34. Th oh, yeah. Different borders. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool. Oh, yeah. Everybody did get this form of a card, didn't they? During your turn, if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 it gets 5k. 13k grade 1s that can either swing or attack. I forgot everybody got one of these. Honestly, they're not bad. Like, I think I saw a Leonorn deck running it. Because, for the most part, if you put specific cards in Leonorn, it just does what it wants to do already. So, you just put in cards that are good boosters can at least hit on their own. And a 13k grade 1 is honestly not bad because it can boost for 13k or it can attack for 13k. I saved the image again, didn't I? I caught myself there and it's <laughs> just not fast enough. Seven. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, let's not save this one. I mean, let's... For those of you that have been following my random train of thought during this stream, you understand what I meant by that. Don't... Almost did it again. Jesus. Yeah, there we are. Alright. Two. Boom. Man, if I had a keyboard... Like, if I had my keyboard on stream, like, what buttons I'm pressing, when and how... Some of this stuff, some of this stuff would look kind of, I won't say freaky, but interesting. But I do not want to set that up, and I don't know, even know the first step into setting that up. So I'm not even gonna try. It's just a fun idea that came to mind because when you talk random bullshit, random bullshit comes to mind. Okay. I don't know why I quit that. Damn it. Save the file real quick. this and we got dragon empire done right, let's see if we can upload it Boop. no no behind the scenes standard dragon empire booster set seven say goodbye to these real quick and say hello all right New proxy Dragon Empire sheets. Come on, please upload. Yes! Sometimes it doesn't want to upload. There's a weird glitch that happens on my computer. I'm not going to bore you guys with the details, but it's working now. That's the important part. Uh, what actually is the best way to get your hands on promos? I have no idea. It really depends on the region you are in. If you're in America, uh, TCG Player probably or is your best bet, as well as the Facebook group and Guardians. Uh, if you ask over there, there's a lot of Americans, so they should be able to get, hook you up. If you're anywhere in Europe, I have honestly no clue. I'm trying to figure that out myself. And then, as for any other um, continent, damn it, country, region, the other ones, I got no clue. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. I am so sorry. Uh, 
Hi, Fatty Fight on Jet Reveals today. <clears throat> Honestly, not bad. Defense is defense. Like, having good defensive cards is always good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, instead of a couple of letters, it's just one icon. Kanji is good. Kanji is good. Uh, I. I just can't like Eugene for some reason. I can't really put my finger on it. Reason why? Because it's Eugene is that weird form of. I feel like it's putting gas in, but it's. I don't feel the gas yet. <laughs> it's like, it's going. But I'm not doing the main mechanic yet. <laughs> uh, I'm a fellow Eugene person. Guess we're in the same boat. <laughs> If you're into you check car yeah car market's not a bad option but do they hype the promo prices have you seen the eva prices in europe jesus fucking christ uh find a facebook group yeah it's really hard to find promos like promos for europe uh, promos for international not japan is a lot harder to get your hands on than it should be how do you feel about the pricing of deer days <sighs> this topic um I'm fine with it because I am fortunate enough to not be in a I need to worry about money situation thankfully like I'm not rich but I'm not you know scraps so I'm fortunate enough to be able to go okay it's that much I'm gonna get it um I do feel like it might be a little bit overpriced for America and other reasons because there is you know there's we've been seeing the memes on Twitter where it's like go to well it was it Puerto Rico and get it for 20 bucks and stuff like that and you go to the US and it's like 60 bucks and it's like it is a little bit overpriced I've initially I thought if we're gonna get you know the expansions included already cool but it seems like now we're we got the info that oh um yeah um yeah the DLC you're gonna have to pay extra it's like yeah, the base game shouldn't have been that much. Or maybe it should have. Honestly, I'm going to save my uh, final opinion about the price on the game when I finish playing the game. Because there might be something in the game that's worth that much money. And we'll see what well, we'll see what it brings. We'll see. Uh, do you know why you can order it on Steam and only on Nintendo Switch? You can order it on Steam, it just needs to be on Steam. Like, Nintendo Switch just has pre-orders right now up, that's about it. And then, whenever it's fully available, I think you should be able to order it on, on Steam. I think it's on Steam at the view, just not order yet. Nintendo Switch just does the pre-orders. Yeah, some regions it really is too high. Anyway. How long has the stream been going? How long has the stream been going? Where can I look at that information? Almost an hour. All right, I need to pick up the pace because I don't want to sit here for five hours. <laughs> five nations, five hours. No, 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 no. All right, next up, we got my favorite nation, Dark States. I did not know I was going to fall into Dark States this much. I was a Messiah main, and all of a sudden, Dark States just came along and said, you are ours now. Okay, one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Beautiful. I love even numbers. Makes making proxies so easy. Oh, my own nose itched there for a sec. There we go. There we go. Please tell me that one's saved. She's really good. I'll talk more about the cards whenever I get to the cards. For right now, I just gotta save all the images. There we go. And now we go back up top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oop. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nice. I really like her. Not only does she have a Serbian name, which is, you know, where I'm from and all that, Miloslava, but she honestly has a very good effect. Not meant for every deck, not meant for a lot of decks, but it's a very good effect nonetheless. Oh, 
Damn it. I love Illustrator for that, but sometimes I don't need, oh God. Sometimes I don't need it. Like if you make a path, you can technically put text on that path, which is cool. Like you can do some really cool tricks and designs for that. Did I save her as an image again? I really need to get that habit under control. Did we already listen to this? I don't care, it's still fire. Uh, hey, great to see you in Leeds. Quite shy, so speaking to you, everyone, it was hard. Looking forward to Belgium, though. I know it's hard for people sometimes to speak because if they're shy and all that, like, not everybody's the same. My only advice to you is don't worry about it. Just come up to me. I don't care who you are. Not in that sense. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm up for speaking to anybody. If you're a little bit shy, just we'll take it easy. Go slow. Break that shell, and then we're gonna chill. I feel like um, what I'm saying can be taken out of context. Sakagyo. Uh, okay, uh, Miroslava, yep. Phase five, dark states. I need to do that. Uh, yep. Bye. Hello. Set seven. There we go. Her effect, her effect, yep. And then of course you got the big Boba Jewel himself. I fucking love this card. I, it's, it's just... I love Jewel. Aesthetics, effects, everything. The... Additional ability, the whole cannabis one soul charge two, if it's two different grades, you get to draw a card, is a really nifty ability. It can whiff, yes it can, but I still like it a lot, because it's like, oh look, I soul charge the exact things I needed to get to uh, four different grades. I am gaming. <laughs> uh Go one two three. Oh, boy. I know at a certain point I'm just gonna be shutting up and focusing on this because I am enjoying streaming. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually enjoying this. I don't want to be sitting here for five hours. I remember doing this. I remember streaming once how uh, editing a video. And it was super fun. I get to you know talk to you guys while I'm editing a video. It was like it was cool. Echo was causing so many problems back then, just distracting me. But I, yeah. But it was super fun. The only problem is because of all the distractions and talking to chat and all that, the editing process took. Uh, they usually should take only like, let's say, if I'm editing a hour video or 45 minute video, that we what you guys see at the end, it usually takes me maybe two to three, four hours. And then d just editing game one took like two, three hours. It's like, mm, this is not productive. This is fun. This is not productive. And the same can be said here. Like, I'm actually having a lot of fun. But at a certain point, I will be having to focus to get this stuff done. Because otherwise, I'll be sitting here for five hours or more. And nobody wants that. Right? Right. Oh, Lo-Fi Darling in the Franks. Fuck yeah. This is my jam. I love Darling in the Franks. I know it's bad. <laughs> I know it's a bad anime. Well, bad. It's it's good. The ending's terrible. <laughs> Damn it. Zero Two's best girl. But damn, the opening of is really good. And this Lo-Fi version of the opening is honestly really good. I like it. I'm enjoying it right now. I saw a chat move. Give me a sec. I'm starting to get used to my peripheral revision seeing chat just do you Oh damn it I said damage again. I see you moving. Don't think I don't see you moving. One, two, three. 
think next time, or at least for Deer Days, I'm going to be streaming at 30 FPS as well as ultra low latency, so that should work. Maybe I shouldn't stream low latency. I usually, like, whenever we stream, I'm going to be playing against other people, and I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be cool. But if I stream off to low latency, people are going to be able to see my hand. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> uh, but... Honestly, you know what? You know what? I don't care if people see my hand. I started realizing for the videos we currently do with the remote fight, me and Alex both forget our that our hands visible to the other person. Like Lon's pointed out so many times in, in the videos that he can see my hand and all that. It's like, well, even if you can see my hand, it just helps you guard uh, the guard maybe a little bit different and do some other tactics. But at the end of the day, I feel like this outcome is still going to be very similar. Like, we try to ignore it. If we see something in the other hand, we try to ignore it and just keep playing our game the way we were thinking of. But it, you can still see your opponent's hand, so it's like one of those things like, oh well. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna look at chat. Oh. Thought I got rid of the, all of these. Oh God, uh, I was on the Nando's on Friday and spoke to you about premium. Oh yeah, that's right, that was you, that was we. Nando's is so good. I am so glad we went to Nando's. Echo, if you're watching this for some reason and not commenting anything, fucking props to Nando's. Uh, I wish I could come to Leeds, but just couldn't, be uh, but since the team Brexit and mostly from the uh, Dark Sphere, my locals were like, Oh, hey, you were in the vlog, and like, oh, yeah, the guy was there, and had <laughs> too bad I couldn't meet you. Echo is hyping, not hyping, but Echo did tell me a little bit about you, so it was like, oh, cool. So, next time I want to come to uh, the UK, which is going to be in February, March, for the VGCS, the Yellow Cards organizing. I'll be there, I'll make a trip. So, if you can make it to that thing, cool. If not, well, next time. <laughs> yes. Tiny, tiny Philip. Hey, I'm not the. I made sure the camera is honestly decently sized. You don't need to see my face too much. You need to focus. You need to focus on all that. That's where Deer Days is going to be. Right now, I'm just testing it. Like, usually I just put my camera in. Nah, you, I don't have to explain myself. Spot the bot. Yep. Sorry, enter late. Where are you going to do proxies for Chrono Jet Stride Dex set uh, next week? Because we're going to be recording the videos. So we're going to have to make the proxies. I'm sorry for not making them sooner. Because we like the problem with proxies of leaks is I don't make them if we don't use them. If we use them, I make them. And then I forget to upload them. But if we don't use them, I don't make them. So Chrono Jet has not been made yet because we haven't used them. But next week, we will be using them. We're actually recording the game with Chrono Jet on Tuesday. So when we do that, I'm going to make them. And I'm going to upload them. And everybody's going to have them. Because by then, the whole set should be leaked, I think. So I can just make the whole proxies and actually put up the whole thing. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Darling is open. Yeah, Darling and Frank slaps. Uh, I'll try my best. We'll see. Echo is really cool to talk to. Echo is one of the coolest dudes I've had the pleasure of getting to meet and know and actually call him a very good friend. The man does not shy away of giving his opinion <laughs> even though it's sometimes it's like who i can't believe you said that <laughs> but i respect him for it and i love him for it it's like him and eric i'm so glad we connected like those are two friends that i feel like i'm gonna just be able to have in my back pocket for a long time and yet neither of them are right here supporting me how dare they <laughs> all right let's move on Ah, Power Gen Dragon. Legitimately like this card, but damn, the CB is heavy. Like, your jewel is already, I won't say struggling with CB, but we definitely need a counter charger in your jewel. We need a counter charger in your jewel, and we need a counter charger in crossover dress. Change my mind. Why did nobody tell me that the screen capture is not working anymore? Hold up, let me copy this text before I forget it. And then change the cards as well before I forget it. 
Let me just do this before I forget it, and then I'll fix the stream. Oh, that's the wrong card. See, I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm putting the wrong cards in. <sighs> so if this guy was 19, I need 20. All right, cool. Sup, 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 sup. All right, why you is not working now? Why you is not working? Yeah, yeah safe. We're back. It's actually working. See? Cool. Why not me mention it? Oh, the dear days physical copy for Japan. Wait, you guys got the physical copy already? Uh, then just unsure what to use. Use either a meta deck or a deck you really like. That's basically the answer. And if you can't choose, flip a coin. Looks nice. Do you guys think you will be getting a physical edition here? Um, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get a physical edition of Deer Days, period. Uh, uh, he's very... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to get a physical just for my Switch collection. <laughs> Excuse me. Some stuff has come back. Uh, yes, I can agree with that. I respect that. To me, the price for Deer Days price is... Uh, is uh, is a surprise at all due to because of how digital market functions and almost identically for a monopoly scheme just like sony ha yeah okay fair i can kind of understand that crossover just really seems like 2017 vanger with <laughs> the cb management and occ dude crossover dress is having the same problems bastion was having <laughs> i was listening to you do i have a beautiful voice i know it, it's flattery thank you i like it um but I do question myself sometimes, dude. Do I really have a beautiful voice? I feel like I need to brush up on my clear English a little bit because sometimes I, like in my own language, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know what the word is, but I mumble my words like, zh, 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 zh. and I'm hoping that doesn't translate into English. So I, I need to work on talking a lot more clear in English because if if the, if I do in fact have a good voice, I want to use it because you know if you have something try to use it what would be your reaction if someone would play you with a crossover just main deck with narrow triggers and g hmm that's an interesting one narrow triggers in a g zone you can technically go into stunverse bind their board bound their drop draw some cards potentially get rid of cards in their hand now not only did you board wipe them so the new crossover dress baru uh works and he can have a drive check you potentially could throw in some good counter charge cards to compensate for that you'll be back on nirvana that could work that can legit work hell you could even stride stunverse and call uh, a normal uh, sporidia and now you have multi-attack as well on top of that it's like that could be very interesting. Uh, we're not going to try it. Let me clear that up. We're not going to try that, but uh, that's very interesting. I'm going to uh, pass that along to some people that I know. Test out premium. Uh, sometimes I rewatch old videos and fall asleep to the... <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that one. Ideas for premium. Nice. Dude, I legitimately enjoyed premium. I'm going to continue working because if I sit here for too long, I'm going to forget. <laughs> uh, but I legitimately enjoyed premium in Leeds playing it. I borrowed one of my friends on our comedy decks, which I need to remember to return it. Um, and I was legitimately having fun. I thought pre like I had a bad misconception about premium and I didn't want to, you know, actually make any statements saying premium is this, premium is that until I actually tried it. I was just a little bit scared of what it could be. And then I went to Leeds and I played in premium and I legitimately have fun. And I saw also, put hold up. Okay. I also saw potential to, if I knew some of the matchups and if I was a little bit more prepared and, um, used to the premium format, I think I could have gotten pretty far. I, like no joke. I legitimately think I could have gotten boost my ego i think i could have gotten the top eight in premium if i just prepped for it like i went into premium literally just going i grabbed my friend's deck i made these changes he suggested i go and play what does your deck do <laughs> 
So if I was a little bit more prepared, I feel like I could have done a lot better in premium, especially with a Nurakami deck. Nurakami is really strong. And the version he had, honestly, I liked it because it's a very much on hit, draw cards, buying cards type of deck. Um, I legitimately enjoy premium. Like, I'm not going to give any excuses. Like, I just didn't prepare. Like, it was my own fault. Like, like I said, I went into premium thinking, oh, I'm going to grab a deck and play and that's it. Like, I didn't look at any other matches. I didn't look at the meta, what people are playing. I didn't prepare for, you know, certain matchups. Like, I literally just started playing and said, all right, we'll figure it out as we go. Some matches it worked. Uh, again, oh, come on. Uh, against decks that I was a little bit familiar. Oh, come on. Against decks that I was a little bit familiar with. For example, Messiah. There was, I think I faced two messiah decks one was a chaos messiah one was a deleter messiah or maybe i just face a chaos basically link jerker i'm familiar with it um so i knew what to do in those matches like especially the leader messiah i was a little bit struggling and i forgot to actually stride uh when i could stride so i was like okay fine i'll just stay on my uh vowing reverse and i just swung at the rear guards and i gave him cb because if i gave him cb he would have rode the deleter, deleted my vanguard, strode in the messiah, and did shenanigans. That's what the leader messiah does. Um, so those matches was like, okay, I was prepared. But then you know, I face Dark Irregular. And the last time I remember Dark Irregular is G era, Shahar, where you can't guard because you can't guard great ones and zeros. Ah, ba <laughs> Balam, the good old days. Ever since then, I actually haven't touched or looked at DI. I know uh, Gastiel Stride was... Is the word Cancer is correct? And I know it was really good and No Life King loop. I saw Solemn whenever he topped with it. It's like, okay, I get this loop. But ever since then, I didn't know what it did. did. So whenever I faced um, DI in the tournament and they started uh, doing some shenanigans, I was like, okay, I think I'm good. He's going to do this and this. Okay, I see where this is going. And I didn't. What I didn't foresee was um, Hope on them hitting the board and saying you can only guard with 20k interval shields. And looking at my hand and going, I only have 15k's. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> but yeah, if I, like for example, if I knew that matchup, if I knew what the opponent's deck was capable of, I exactly know how I would have guarded in that turn specifically. And I think I would have been able to have my turn and then push back. And potentially even win that game. So it's one of those things like Vanguard is a luck game. It's a skill game, but it's a skill game in the fact that knowing not only what your deck is capable of, but knowing what your opponent's deck is capable of is honestly what wins a lot of Vanguard games. Because when to give CB, when to not give CB, when to swing at the rear guards, when not to swing at the rear guards, when to, you know, uh, focus on retiring, focus on this, focus on that, when to, you know, put pressure, when to not put pressure, like all that comes into play and, uh, and it's just like knowing when to do things. Like, for example, like I said, in that, uh, the leader Messiah, knowing when to give him CB and knowing when to not give him CB. Dude, so many games against Gravidia in Germany was just like, I'm just going to CB deny you because I saw you go through most of your protobulbs. So I'm like, uh, not protobulbs, but boba mains. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to give you the chance to do bullshit. So we're just going to see. I'm losing track of what I'm doing. I copied the text. I gave him the names. I need to put in the card. So it should be 23. No, we don't have 23. So it's this one, right? Yeah. Ugh, almost lost track of what I was doing. Uh, can I miss putting into your soul? Get cards. Really good card. I, I, it's not really good, but I like it. What was I saying? All right, knowing, knowing what your opponent deck, the uh, what your opponent's deck does is have the bell in Vanguard. Like for example, I keep saying this to people: if you face a Bruce. Same thing with Bastion. If you face a Bruce or a Bastion, rush them. Rush them. They cannot handle the rush. You get your put yourself in a better advantageous position. 
they have to guard with pieces if they don't want to get to too high damage because once you get to your grade 3 turn depending on what deck you're using it can be very explosive and if they're high damage they're not going to be able to guard as easy or use pieces to guard that they don't want to use pieces to guard with it is what it is my like, granted defensive triggers in the early game are just defensive but if you can rush and if it succeeds you rush a bruce deck and you rush a bastion deck and you your chances of winning increase they don't you don't win because of it, but your chances of winning increase. Holy shit. Where do these changes come from? I saved the image. No, I didn't save the image. I saved the previous image. Did I just rant? <laughs> Did I just go on a rant? Oh... Uh. This is my last uh, comment on Diesel uh, Market actually surprising? Yeah. Yes. Uh, for, it's a very fun card. Yes. Yes, he is. I do wish Premium adopted a ride deck specifically for D series cards. I love how you worded this because I do agree with that. Putting a ride deck specifically if you're going to run only D, uh, not only, but if you're going to run. You're allowed to use a ride deck if your ride deck is consistent of D cards type deal. I feel like that would be really cool. Uh, the only thing, like you said that, if you said that exact idea a couple months ago, that'd be a really cool idea. Now you've said that idea, it's like, but we don't want to make Chrono Jet busted. <laughs> Cause right now that crest in premium can be very dangerous from what I'm seeing. And if they can get it constantly with a ride deck, for example, with that idea, it can get really dangerous really fast. So them having the mulligan to get it potentially in their first draw or in their first five hands is a lot more taming the deck than, oh, you just get it. Oh my God, Echo is here. One sec, Echo, I'll get to you. I got to read everything else above. Uh... Our economy binds mechanic and premium is very much like the prison deck in Overdress. The difference is you can't get your units back. Very accurate. What if you play a deck that uh, counterblasts? What if you play deck that counterblasts hungry? What if you play a deck that counterblasts hungry? Arr. If you're a deck that's counterblasts hungry, it just know how much counterblast. Look at your hand. Know how much counterblast you need to do certain things. And just guard appropriately and then just go from there. It's literally just like, if I, it, like Bruce is a good example. I got a really good combo now in Bruce. So it's like, I can use three CB and I can do this really cool combo. And it's like, okay, I'm going to guard in certain ways where I'm going to get my three CB and I'm going to do my combos. Uh, what if you play, uh, not Russian Bruce is asking to lose. Yeah. Not rushing Bruce and going too high to damage before they hit final rush is like if Bruce can get you to three damage, it four is even worse. But if Bruce can get you to three damage before they hit final rush, they're in a really good spot to just pressure you. Uh, how do you do, baby? Boy, dude, I get to call you boy. You get to call me baby. That's how we work. Uh, get a crest. Two out of three of the boys are here. Yeah. Eric doesn't like us or doesn't like me. We got into an argument a little while ago. How dare he not like Apple? <laughs> uh, when you're off tonight, I'm going to need your help with... Pre Once I finish this stream, I'll help you. I am barely a double rares of Dark States, so that tells you everything. Uh, he means a Canterblast Heavy deck. Oh. Against or playing a Canterblast Heavy deck? I still need a little bit more context, please. Oh, come on, you silly Billy. How powerful is Crest anyway? I wouldn't say it's that powerful in premium. I, we don't know, because we ha I don't know if anybody's already played this or not, but the idea behind it is very scary to me, because not only do you help timely... The, the scariest part about the crest to me is the fact that it makes Chrono Jets 13 and that it gives 5k power to the front row for every face up G card. And in premium, that can get out of hand really fast. Like, power is a thing already. 
Honestly, I'll let Echo answer that question. Echo, Crest in, in premium, good or not good? Or no, it's it's definitely good. Is it all right or is it broken? Bruce with a CB heavy deck. Yeah. I uh, assume playing against Bruce with a CB heavy deck. It really depends on the situation again. It's one of those things like Bruce can really pressure you, but if you're a CB heavy deck, can you utilize all that CB and do something big in a sense of either cripple them, kill them, or just put yourself in a more advantageous position, then just take the damage and go. Echo, don't be mean. <laughs> and you wonder why back in the day whenever I stream was like, oh no, Echo's here. He's going to cause trouble. <laughs> Where is Eric, by the way? Is he working still? Damn it, don't say that. I get used to that. Oh God, what am I doing? 36 means 38. This is a really good card. Like it fixes your soul for the jewel, gains thinking power. Uh, yeah, I can save that. And then I can go in here. Nope, stop. stop. I said stop. <coughs> Excuse me again. Had a really good lunch. I don't know how many Americans are watching, so avert your ears. Well, granted, some of them are cool with it or not, but. Yeah, fuck it, I'll say. Uh, I had a really good lunch today. Uh, we had horse meat. It was fucking delicious. Alright. Sup, sup, sup. One, two, three. Nice. Hector just confirmed his availability for Thursday. Gonna get a Hector on video again, people. Rejoice. The Mexican is gonna be on video. I forgot to... I don't know. This is one of those streams I don't want to too much put on uh, social medias like Twitter and Discord. I was like, whoever, anybody who's here is here. Cool. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the show, I guess. But other than that, it's like, it is more of a test to see how the new, because like I said, before I use Streamlabs to stream, now I'm using just pure OBS. So I'm testing it out, see how it works. If it crashes, if it doesn't crash, if everything works the way it should, yada, yada, yada. But also kind of to test out my also new overlay for Deer Days. Because this is basically how the streams, whenever Deer Days comes out, is going to look. The game's going to be there. My face is going to be here. A different angle. I'm currently using my computer. Because my gimbal died, so I couldn't use my phone. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix that whenever Deer Days comes out. Uh, should I mention it now? Should I not mention it now? Sure, I'll mention it now. For Dear Days, for the 17 people listening, um, I will be playing Dear Days, and of course, because YouTube, YouTubers, yada, 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 creating content. Now, what I mean by, cre okay, by the way, uh, Hypno Grasper, fucking amazing card. I need to find more decks to put him in. Um, what do I mean by making content? Uh, for Dear Days, for the story mode, I'm gonna be playing through the story mode, and I'm gonna make proper videos. Am I doing this right? Something's not right. I think I'm fucking up somewhere. Hold up. I'll continue that train of thought here in a second. All right. When this thing is placed on rare cards, kind of a swing choose a card from your job. Okay, so he's correct. And he's the last card in the rares for dark states. Return, return. 
So yeah, he's the boss unit. Okay, we got him. And if I'm not mistaken, we got the correct effect for him as well. What is going on here? So we got her, cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. He's good. All right, we haven't made her yet. And I think I messed up her effect almost. Okay, there we go. This, this. Steady spike. Damn it. Echo, if you're still there, what song is this? It sounds familiar, but I can't pinpoint it. Oh, it's Anahana, isn't it? No, it's not. Echo, my man, if you're still there, help. <laughs> my music bro, my music buddy. My anime opening ex expert. It is Bunny Girl Senpai, you're right. Dude, that opening was so good. <laughs> Especially the opening part. The beginning part, that running behind the train thing. Echo told me a really cool story about that. <laughs> Go. <sighs> now we do Hypno, boy. I think Bunny Girl Senpai is getting a second season. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think. I know I saw something about it, but I can't remember exactly what. Shop. I see, he's 59 to 61. There we go. She's really good for the common grade 3 boss unit. The one that Soul Blast 6 grade 0 gives 6 units, 10k, Soul Charge 6. Like, she is really good for him and only him. I guess for certain other decks she... Oh my god, I can play this in Chaos. I can actually play this in Chaos and actually be good. If I if I put my if I put the whole rainbow trigger setup I actually have right now in chaos, I can just guard with triggers because you usually guard with triggers. Duh. Use her soul blast the grade one in my soul and put two it, it, replace one card but put two different cards in. So I'd be bumping the count up by one, but it'd be different. So if there's any cop, oh my god, I need to play her in chaos. Why am I only realizing this now? I need to revisit chaos. I need to really just revisit chaos. Look at all of Dark State support and go, how do I make this deck good? <laughs> or playable? Oh my god, I can actually do why am I just now realizing this? And I call myself a Dark States main. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, she's the version of Chaos I have right now, she is definitely replacing Swirler. Swirler was not doing the job I wanted him to do. And there's not much Soul Charge, so he's not getting bigger than 13. So I feel like he's a wasted space in the deck with a couple other cards in there. So I think I'm going to put her in. Oh, what else can I put in this deck? Oh my god. The possibilities are endless. Chaos is actually opening up. For those of you who don't know, I actually legitimately like Chaos. It's just... He's so bad. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> but it's my soul. Like, I feel like we're going to be seeing in set 8 a lot of cards for Chaos that are going to be when placed from soul effects. Which is fine and dandy if you give us a good way to place cards from soul consistently without wasting the count of different cards in soul for Chaos's ability, yada yada yada. So we'll see what we get. 
didn't have to. I gotta get I'm used to at it. What's up? What's up? Oh god. Uh, my favorite part of the opening is the opening. <laughs> you can tweet that. I allow you to tweet that, Echo. You know exactly what I meant by that part, but I'm gonna allow you to tweet that, because that is fucking funny. <laughs> uh, you know what I love about Vanguard? They always evolve in each generation of the Vanguard format. Yes, there's some games design flaw. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think the thing you love about Vanguard is gonna be the last thing, because... If they're gonna stick to the promise they made, they're not gonna be rebooting the game ever again. So, standard is here to stay. V is V, pre is P, premium is premium. So, we're not gonna get changing formats again. We're gonna see maybe some new mechanics, but I'm, re I'm really hoping we don't get another reboot. Standard is actually in a really good place, design-wise, card-wise, nation-wise, all that. I like where we're at right now. Please don't change again. <laughs> No, like it, the change is not the problem is the problem is the word again is attached to the word change see there's always support for chaos what what are you talking about echo AOT season 3 opening this is all lo-fi it shouldn't right yeah I haven't been getting any notifications of anything being censored actually the thing looks be running smoothly Oh, because I can. Y'all need to take a break. Are you guys back yet? I don't know. I'm, I got my phone here on a delay as well. I don't know how long these ads go for. <laughs> the fact I can just play an ad. I'm not gonna do it a lot. Don't 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 worry. I'm not gonna be doing it a lot. I just find it funny that the the option does is presented to me. It's like here's a button to play an ad. Have fun. <laughs> I'm so glad they made her Steam Shooter, not Steam Maiden. And poop. Oh, damn it. I need to stop doing that. It's so ingrained in me, especially because I'm not. I am focusing, but I'm not focusing because I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time as, and read some chat. But, you know, muscle memory is taking over. Go. This is just a Kaisen, right? I can't wait for the next season of that. It's gonna be so hype. What was I doing? What was I thinking? I was thinking something and I forgot it. I can't remember what I was thinking. What was I thinking? Usually I don't think that's a problem. So when I do think, it's like, what was I thinking? Oh, by the way, she's an amazing card for Barrow, in my honest opinion. It's going to be hard to play her since she is CB2. But I feel like she's a really good card. Because Barrow, when, when she gets the deck out position, if you really turbo soul charge, which the new version of the deck... God damn it. Which a new version of the deck can do really, really easily, honestly. Being able to just select certain cards and put them back and they're all triggers. It's like, and now we're da now we're even more dangerous. Damn it. I just I just realized what card I made and where it needs to go. Okay, we just made her depression. Yep. Depression. Oh, that's a name. <laughs> that's a name for a card. Depression. So we're right here on an order. Dude, this order just 
took Bear to another level. Like it's a just it's pandemonium tactics, but in my opinion, a little bit better. Because yes, you don't soul charge as much, but you get 5k to the front row, which that 5k, trust me, matters. And you still soul charge three. Like, oh no, I didn't soul charge one. Let me just play a damn grade one from set six. It says every single soul charge I do is plus one. Oh look, my swirls are soul charging two. Oh look, my uh, my ponies are soul charging four, three. Oh look, this card soul charging four. I get to my condition. Ha ha. Eat face. <laughs> What's up? I need a prep. For, I need, honestly do need a prep for Barrow in Worlds. I feel like that's going to be a deck that people are going to run that can really surprise. I need to be careful, Barrow. Anyway, these are the last two. These are 6, 5, and 6, 6. One more 6, and it would have been beautiful. Uh, board 7. This, move this back up. Save this file. Uh, what the hell is going on over here? And you're, by the way, from Portugal. Oh, sweet. What's everyone's opinion on the new YouTube? YouTube what? Oh, what? Eh, I know what it said. That's all right. It's everything still works the same. Depression is a card is going to be expensive. It'll be. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Funny. Uh, don't have swirls right now. Echo, I'm sorry to say this. I have nine swirlers on me. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> uh, waiting for set eight and going to just rush everyone down with Roar and hopefully win some games. Yeah, Roar is really dangerous. If you give him one CB, that's four attacks that can get really out of hand really fast. Has Barrow ever gotten re remotely worse or people are just saving him for worlds? Barrow has been always on uh, ever since Barrow got turbo 15 easily, easily with certain cards such to get the turbo 15 uh, faster than usual. He's been very consistent. The problem is if they don't see those pieces to get to 15, he's kind of lackluster because you use so many resources to get to like 13, 14 cards in soul, but then you don't do your actual five attack combo. Now your hand size is low. You didn't do your big push turn. So you're very vulnerable to decks on the other side. But if you get to 15, you can do a good push and it just goes good for me. Like Bruce versus Barrow, for example, if Barrow goes first and gets to 15 on their first grade three turn, Bruce has almost no chances of winning. Uh, graphical, oh, my brother is a Christ. <laughs> graphical user, no, 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 hold up. I'm a graphic designer. Two different things. Just because the word graphic is used as well does not mean the same thing. Uh, Barry has literally just had m m for yeah. Yeah, like Bear is at a point right now, if first grade three turn, if you can get to 15, you're gaming. Dex can still beat you. That's not mean you're automatically winning, but you're in a very good advantageous position, basically. All right, let's upload these. Our states, we set seven, goodbye, and say hello to these new proxies. Almost forgot one. Upload, please. Yes. I love how Echo shows up and he just takes over the chat. We do vlogger to have a red line specifically for. Ooh, Egyptian theme. I wonder what nation that will go into. I guess Dragon Empire. Like, when I think of Egyptians, the closest thing I can think of is Dragon Empire or Dark States because of mummies and undead and stuff like that. We be poor, uh, poor, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Barrow running the new order does, uh, does matter because of for, uh, your fourth and fifth attack 
with how persona are only 25k but with order yeah agreed like that that extra 5k matters so much echo what are you doing i actually have my phone now so i can see what the bullshit you're doing Nice. That's good bullshit. <laughs> I want to say something to you, but I'm going to save it for later. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Who's next? Or what's next? Hey, Braingate. All right. I'm up for this. Get my two favorite nations out of the way and then edit the rest, the rest of them. Oh, God. All right. We've been streaming for an hour and 40. Let's. We're going to pick up the pace here. Like, I love talking to you guys and to echo and entertaining him in the chat. But I don't want to have to stay here for another three hours. So I'm going to start focusing real quick. Probably going to make a pause here and there. Actually, pause right now. Water break. Yes, I drink water out of my mug, Subi. Fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. Fucking love you, Bushy, for making eighteen cards per set. Don't know why I did that, though. Love this card. It's a good one. Eh. It's a good one. Needed. Eh. That's a good card. Why? That's a good card. Why? Eh. And then, of course, right line is necessary. Eh, it's not bad. It's a shield. Right line necessary. And yeah. And yeah. Necessary. All right, back to the top. Let's see here. Bring gate, bring gate, bring gate. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the rest of them right where they there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's get the show on the road. Wow, that is sad. That is sad, Echo. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to drop this stream down to 30 FPS and uh, we'll try ultra low latency next time. All right, let's get this on the road. Blitz. I'm gonna do a blitz round, ironically, while doing that, the actual blitz CEO. Yes, my jokes are f bad. Sue me. One too many. Oh, excuse me. Oh, shit. Did you? Jesus. What's up? What's up? Save it. Save it. Cool. Next. I love this card. I legitimately love this card. Like, design wise and effect wise. Like, the art's just beautiful, in my opinion. And the effect is really good. Yes, it's CB heavy, but it's fucking good. Go. I saved the thing. I need to get that habit under control when I'm doing this. I'm just saving extra images for no reason. So 
Do I have this in my head? Echo's a real friend. Like, he's here. He's in the chat. He's supporting. Then you got Eric. He's probably working. I'll give him a pass. But you got my Americans. Not one of them popped in. They're probably working, but still, they could have at least popped in. Hold up. I'll answer that question here in a second. Just wanna get this one more. Oh, I am not saving you. Jesus fucking Christ, I gotta get that habit under control. I feel like this whole stream has just been me going, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop. One Punch Man. I really don't understand this card. Like, Meteor is in a really good spot. There's not much you can do to kind of help the deck. Hell, Combine Rushers is a really good card for Meteors, and it's not even meant for Meteors. And you get stuff like this that comes out, and it's like, why would why they make it? It's like, eh. Could have done better, man. Could have done better. Or granted, you, you don't need to do better. For a deck like Gravidia, it's already where it needs to be. It's like the Bash with Bastion back in the day. Bastion was a really good deck, and it got everything it needed. It didn't need more support to, support to make it even more better or, you know, stronger. So they just said, all right, we're going to leave you alone and upgrade everything else, kind of put everything on the same level, and then we're going to give you support once you're on the same level with everybody again. I feel like that's the same thing they're doing for Gravidia right now. It's like, you're a strong deck. You don't need much help. We're gonna give you options. They're not good options, but they're options. Go. All right, what's going on over here? Oh my God, Eric actually showed up. What the fuck? Oh, Echo's gotta go. Bye. Or right, if he's still here, bye. Put on the picture where the car fight. Uh, Okay, it froze again. Uh, at least I know why it freezes now. Whenever I upload, probably it freezes. So we're just gonna do that real quick. And there we go, we're back to normal. Uh, hey, Phil, I started Discover Vanger when I was 12 years old. I never uh, I never owned a deck in my life. I don't know what the deck strengths, weaknesses for all three formats of my 10 year experience of Vanger. Wow, fair. Hey, there's Eric. Welcome, welcome, you're a true friend. I love you. <laughs> uh, Echo is here, but bruh, he just left the chat. Yeah. I didn't notice her, right? I was focused. Uh, check. Yeah, thank you for putting that out now. I really do need it. I know what, what happens when I upload the proxies to Google Drive. It probably glitches it or something else. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it every, every so often. Anyway, back to it. We just made... We just made no oh god, yeah. We just made uh, your Velstra boy, your Defy lady. That's beautiful, and then these two, and then the Gravita card that really doesn't make sense to me at least. Now we got some more Velstra support that's honestly fucking legit. There we go. So Eric, how you doing? Did you just get off work or something? We're doing something else. She should be 23. He's really good for Veilstra. For the simple fact of just, if you're going second to get your uh, fly shoots maximum in the order zone as fast as possible. Because if you're going first, you got that extra one turn where you're ahead of your opponent, so it's fine if you don't get it out on that turn. But when you're behind your opponent, getting that grade three order into your order zone is can mean the difference between winning and losing. It is kind of a minus two in hand, but I feel like it's worth it going second. This is 24. Let me just listen to this. 
23. Yeah, we got it. Eh. Yeah. 23. No, that's not an end. That's an end. Cool. Oh, you're off to. Oh, yeah. It, 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 Eric, is in your country the same thing as in mine where the 1st of November you basically get off? Like we had yesterday off and we technically have off today for people that are working. Uh, work. For people that are working, they have off today and off yesterday. Schools didn't work. Grocery stores didn't work. Is the same thing in the Netherlands? No. So you're just off today randomly. Cool. <laughs> You guys were asking before what my thoughts on the Chrono J Stride deck set are. You got the man, the myth, the legend right here in chat right now. Ask him what does he think of uh, the Chrono J Stride deck set in today's reveals, huh? is not cramping yet but i do feel it being a little bit i won't say exhausted but you know that just tired like you've been working out and it's like oof, shake it out a little bit that's the wrong card that's the right card <laughs> yeah he'll say it in his video definitely so when's that video coming out, Eric, huh? Tomorrow, Thursday, next week. All right, I do need you to remind me though. Is the Antwerp vlog your or Echo's bad meme? <laughs> Uh, have you tried a more soul-focused Overlord deck build? Really? Soul-focused? Yeah, oh, you're gonna have to elaborate on that. That actually sounds interesting, but I got no clue what you're talking about. Soul-focused. Huh. For what reason? Nope, don't save him. Oh, come on. There we go. Is this a rare? Is this really a rare? Please tell me this isn't a rare. Oh my god, he's a rare. Why is this a rare? Why, why is this card a rare? It really does boggle my mind. Let me read the effect one more time. When your other rare guard is retired during your opponent's turn, bind this unit, put that re re retired card into your hand. Like, why is this a card? Most decks they retire are gonna first retire this before they retire the other card. So you're never gonna get this off, really. Why is this a card? Ah, uh, fly shit's maximum. That's a good card. I was surprised they made this order a rare. I thought honestly it was gonna be at least a double rare. Well, usually orders are not set orders in Brankgate are not double rares, so I can kind of get why they didn't make it. Then it'll still be nice. I have to make the text smaller. Not that small. Yeah, it definitely feels like a common. Yeah, 
probably pulled it up on my phone to, to make sure everything's still running properly. Boop. There you go. Alright, where was I? Uh, brain. Blood shit's maximum, that's right. Go, there we go. Holy shit though. Zero forty one and zero forty two. Forty two. That's on artwork seven. I don't know what I'm yawning for. It's barely gonna be eight o'clock. It's not that late yet. I mean, the sun does go down sooner now, but still, it's not that late. This is another card that I honestly have no idea why it was made. If these two cards come somehow prove themselves useful in the new kaiju deck we're getting I will be shocked nicely shocked because you know cards actually get used but still shocked when the scene is deck hits of anger if your zone has two or more cards you may draw a card if you do choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul it's just a filter and it's an on hand and you have to have two orders like why 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 make a card like this why Bushi why I need to figure out your reasoning behind things. There we go. Oh, don't save it. I'm starting to catch myself on that, which I'm proud of myself, but at the same time, it's like, shouldn't even go for that motion. Come on. Come on. He's 67, so we should be grabbing 68. There we go. What's first swing in my ear? One, two, three. One, two, three. Flip it. Not that way. There's 67 and zero. 68. Alright, we're basically either at or past the halfway mark, which is cool. If I focus, I think I can finish within the next two hours, if not sooner. Hey, right line time. Yeah, I know you don't really need four of the right line, but to keep everything uniform, we, I always do four of every single card. Like even fa uh, Favreneer, you can only play one of them. You're gonna get four. Cause Proxair. Go, there we go. I do apologize to anybody in chat that's writing because I can see it moving. I am just in the zone right now. Anybody who's watched Kirk on a basket just starts uh, imagining like streaks of light near my eyes right now. I'm in the zone. That was a bad joke, Bob. I'm sticking with it. Up. I'll look at you here in a sec once I finish with this sheet. What's up? Oh boy. This is 70. What's up? And everything's still moving over there, so which is good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sixty-nine. Nice. Seventy. Oof. What's going on? 
news next Tuesday we get next day yes yes we do trust me me and the boys are really excited to finally test that deck out uh, they, uh to be honest we gotta wait for next stage to really see the grand payoff the crest with jet is already solid but next stage is the big question yes yes it is uh Faju deck is like kaju and yugi uh, and all the effects activate on opponent's turn that'd be very interesting honestly i'd be up for that so, so simple thoughts <laughs> jesus that would be so uh he's using the breath are you trying to oh bro oh my god I li like no joke i watched like f f an hour and 30 minutes of clips on youtube of galactic football because i saw a tweet on twitter and i was like man I, I remember that show being good and i was like youtube and i was just watching clips non-stop it's man that show was so good for people that know don't know galactic football you missed out uh using the cards that go into the soul when discarded from hand and then one that goes to the soul from rear guard as right line discard of water instead so you can keep paying oh okay i can see that the Holland skill was never a problem to pay i think but yeah that can work you need character to be the real zone <laughs> man velsa has a lot of potential it just needs that card advantage so yeah hand size and velstra is non-existent it has everything else but hand size is not one of them uh no i don't want another Yu-Gi-Oh and the board gets the destroyed from lava hey man just if you want Yu-Gi-Oh, just play botus with a little lifty uh blitz order and you got Yu-Gi-Oh right there anyway with that being said back to focusing because we're almost done with brank gate i won't say in record time but in good time there we go I feel my hand cramping a little bit, which is weird. Downloads. See, you should be 71. Hey, yes, you are. I do miss one thing that I stopped doing, and that is making the ride line with some triggers into a, like a full art. You like you put six cards together and you get a full art. I do miss those. I, f I, I wish they brought back that for one of the ride lines we're going to be getting. Not in set eight, I mean in general, like the future islands, because th th that was honestly a cool concept. I really liked it, and I'm sad we're not getting more of those. Blitz, blitz, this, blitz, that, blitz over here. So Seventy-two, and we got two orders. Sweet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Zero, 71 and zero, 72. All right, last two cards for Brent Gate. We're gonna come down here for those. The amount of text they put on this. They honestly could have simplified it a little bit. They could have. They just chose not to. Oh yeah, and the long name. Come on, fit. Ah, eh, fit's good enough. Seventy-three. Oof. No, that's five. Five, I say five. I never did ask, how is the audio? <laughs> I think I put the lo-fi music loud enough so it's not too loud, but just enough so you can hear it. How is my audio? Am I normal? Do I sound normal? Am I too loud? Should I not be that loud? <laughs> Eric can tell you when, when he actually me, met me for the first time, he was like, all right, cool. My ears, ow. <laughs> I don't know if he ever said that actually, but a lot of people tell me when they first meet me that, you know, I am naturally very loud. So I don't know if that's actually translating through on stream or not. 
because mics can have gain and volume and all that so you can adjust it so I can be as loud as I fuck I want and it still sound normal and brank gate is officially done save it over here it's all good audio is perfect music is solid we hear you so Soothingly clearly. Audio is good now. Audio is fine. You know they're a great three deer. Days Ketter card is a yes. Yes, he is double rare in the set eight. I hope he gets the right line. <laughs> Hear you clearly. Uh, that and the voice in my head. You should listen to that voice in your head sometimes. Just when the it gives you good advice, not when it gives you bad advice. If the voice in your head puts you in jail, don't listen to your voice in your head. That's what I do. Hello, hello, man. I had to lean in for that. <laughs> Dude, look, I was reading that one word. It's like. What? <laughs> Alright. We're at the. Past the halfway mark. We only got two more nations. We're gonna. Upload Brent Gate right now. One more. Brent Gate, Brent Gate, Brent, Brent Gate. There it is. Uh. Select, uh, remove, and re-upload. It's up, it's up. There you go. Now this is gonna glitch the screen, I'm pretty sure. So once this uploads, we're gonna do a nifty thing where I can fix it and you don't got to see me fix it. Uh, Grand Grace had a ride, like, I feel like Grand Grace should be getting a ride line, cause it's going to be very weird inside of the game itself when the main character starts using Grand Grace and it's like, well, I'm just using Blaster Dark or Hexorb or someone else's ride line to get to my boss unit. It's like, I feel like we're going to get a ride line. It's just a question of if that ride line is going to be in set eight. The chances are really good. I honestly want to see if Favernier is going to get a ride line because that's going to be very interesting what they give him if they give him one. We've been seeing a lot of great threes, though, that don't have ride lines. They're just, you know do things so who knows we'll see yeah don't no 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 we proved it in our video there's more than enough Keter cards to fetch persona rides in the sense of being able to just look at the three ad or do stuff being able to find it and add it so Keter's got more enough cards to get your persona right in hand you don't need it from the ride line we don't need a guarantee you need <laughs> no grand grace is good no yeah, um, if you're showing using uh, BD right line and really, uh, I really hope she gets her own right line because the Blaster Dark right line, in my opinion, for Keter is the best generic right line. You get twin drive, so you not only plus a card in hand, you also get the chance to rip another trigger, which can be very dangerous. Um, it is CB heavy, but oh well. And the, all the other the ride lines are way too name specific to really plus any. Plus, you know, Bastion ride line, you're not going to run that many grade, grade threes in, gra in Grand Grace. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is going to glitch. Actually, let me, let me get everything prepped and then we're going to fix it. Because right now it's still working. Oh, Ketter's next. Perfect. We get to look at Meta Deck Tempest. Right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, I love the number eighteen right now. Boop. Ah, oh, there's Tempest. Fucking amazing card. This card is also really good. Especially for Grand Grace, like what we were talking about. Like, I feel Ketter got really good stuff in this set. Not only for the new uh, youth right line, but just in general for almost every single deck. Like, I feel Ketter won the here's some good cards, go, go ham contest in this set. I think. 
Could be wrong. Alright, and then we come over here and we do Keter. Keter, 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 Keter. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Makes it ten. Which means we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And not one order, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. This should not have been a trip or why am I frozen? Oh God. Am I back? I froze there for a second. I actually saw zero frames on the stream. Everything good. Are we okay? Is everybody okay here? Hello? <laughs> Someone give me some confirmation that I didn't just fucking freeze. Please? Yeah, Tempest is definitely a plus with no effort. Holy shit. You just see my face like all. Oh. Okay, we're at least back. It did not like me doing whatever I did. I don't know what I did, but it didn't like me doing it. Okay, okay, this part froze again. So we're gonna do this little trick. Uh, you guys are gonna go in a five second timeout and I'll see you back when everything's working again. All right, all right, bye. All right, if it was a five second skippable ad, then you guys are back and everything's working so far so good. Um, yeah, we're gonna just continue to catter. Boop. Poop and boop. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, I do not know what they were smoking when they made this card. This card, honestly, should have been like a Sentinel break. Like if your opponent, even if your opponent PGs, unless they put down a grade three, they have to, you know, it will hit. <sighs> I really don't understand what they were thinking with this card. Like, not only do you have to have a full board, a full board of gray three. No, wait. Uh, let me see if you have six or more. Yeah, gray three or greater units. Not only do you have to have a full board of gray three and greater units, it is a CB, and it only looks at power. So if they, even if they send no, it's gonna, the send no is going to work. So this thing is not going to do anything. Like, this is not a good triple rare. Everything else in Keter for this set's really good. This is not a good triple rare, Brushy. I um, hate to say it, but it's true. <laughs> I'll boost to seven. Uh, this way. The new card for Fegger and Eva. I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I am so pissed that the other glitter cards are getting such good support when chaos is over there sitting going dirtle 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 literally like it pisses me off those two cards for eva and figure are fucking amazing figure just figure gotta turn faster that's literally what happened with figure figure just gotta turn faster if you see that order uh as for eva uh your obscadate both of your obscadates now can be double critical um, you will get a free unit on the board free you get a search unit on the board which is always good um, and like the extra 5k power is not bad but like we talked with Bear Magnus that extra 5k can sometimes really matter so overall the Eva and figure cards are fucking amazing and then chaos is sitting there dirtle fucking dirtle god fucking damn it it legitimately pisses me off that they shaft the chaos so much on their double rare or mm. <sighs> All right, that's out of my system. Tempest. Tempest is just a free plus. Like someone mentioned in a chat a little while ago, Tempest is just a free plus. It is a CB. We got so many good cards for Youthberg that just say make it. Like you guys probably saw it in the video. Hector didn't do it beautifully 
But if you combine Tempest with the Grade 1 Angel and the Grade 1 Witch to give them a drive check, you basically just retire those two units to activate all the abilities. That's it. Like, the Angel retires herself and Soul Blast, but the Witch goes to Soul and gives you for uh, uh, Tempest a extra drive, and he counter blasts. So you counter blast and counter charge, so you basically do nothing to your damage. You soul charge and soul blast, so you do nothing to your soul. So you literally just retire those two grade ones and you get all the effects active. Basically what happens. It, it's not really what happens. Like something does go into soul and something does have to get soul blast. But with everything, the way it times and everything, it basically just looks like you retire two units to plus two units to your hand, to give front row 5k and to get another drive check. And to give your Vanguard another 5k. Like overall, it's just... The the support around Youthburg is just good. And I feel bad putting Youthburg on the same proxy sheet as this the other jank card. <laughs> I really don't like that card. Like I was all up for it when I thought it worked the way I thought it worked, where it could, you know, even if they PG'd, it would still hit unless they put down a grade three or made some grades three. And then when it was pointed to me that I was wrong, and yes, I was wrong, it, it, it PG's do stop it. I was like, oh, so this card is just shit. There's no merit to this card. Why does this card even exist? Why is this card a triple rare? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That's an easy CC. Youthburg is just super free right now. Like when it first came out, it was a little bit of a resource management game. But now with all the support, Jesus, Youthburg is just so free and does so much and so good. Like it doesn't gain, oh, and no, I'm not saving you. Uh, it doesn't gain like too many crits unless you go into um, Zest. But the amount of drive checks it does, the amount of power it can get, the amount of plusing you can do now because of Tempest, it's like, it's just, it. you've became a well-rounded deck in two sets in a trial deck. Not many other decks can say that. Like it legitimately became a well-rounded deck in two sets and a trial deck. That's impressive. Scary, but impressive. Like hell, if I do keep coming back to Bruce a lot because Bruce is one of my main decks and I can actually talk about him because I know something about him. But Bruce was honestly a really well-rounded deck. Oh God. Uh, Bruce was honestly a really well-rounded deck with set five and festival collection like you got your megans you got your combos everything was running smoothly like set five actually didn't introduce anything really necessary for bruce but it was just nice the festival collection megan really made it the bruce really good in my opinion but it, he was already a really well-rounded deck with the grade four and then we got what the fuck did you come from Fuck, what the fuck? Where the fuck did you come from? Alright, that was weird. Uh, but with the inclusion of set six and Julian, like Bruce didn't become a better deck, he just became a different deck. Like you run Julian's, you added a little bit of extra different cards in there. All of a sudden, uh, Bruce just his whole game plan and game strategy and what he does changed. It's still an amazing deck, but it's like, alright, you put different cards in and go. Oh, I can't wait to see what set nine Bruce does. Oh, I'm so hyped for that. I am so hyped for set nine Bruce. Oh, I can't wait what they do. I like legit. Even if they treat him like crossover dress, where it's like, here's cross final rush. It's not that good yet, but you know, we tried. I'll still be happy. It's another Bruce. Like Bruce is one of those decks. Like he's not only strong, but I don't care what they do with him. Like I'm always going to love the way he plays. Like, it's one of the reasons I love Chaos. I love Chaos to death. And I'm pissed uh, of, what, of what kind of treatment he's getting, but I'm still love the deck. 
Same thing could be said for Greedon. Greedon is such a fun deck, but it's, oh my God, the consistency is not there. All right, let me double check I'm making everything because I'm talking a lot and... Yes, I know there was an error. We're fine now, stream. Thank you. Uh, not, not chat, I'm talking about the program. Man, I need to make chat bigger. All right, so that's there. That's there. So yeah, we can move on. So this nifty card. I've been seeing a lot. Is this what I think it is? Uh, when the scene is discarded from hand during your turn, if you anger is a great three, you still plus one gold. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of Jap uh, JP lists. Japan li JP lists. Yeah, that's probably the best way to say it. Run this card. I personally am not too big of a fan of it. I see its potential. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not too big of a fan of it. I feel like some other cards are, not, I won't say better, but would f if I were to build Yufberg, I wouldn't play her. Like, there we go. That's probably the best way to say it. If I were to build Yufberg, I wouldn't be playing her in my deck. It doesn't fit the way I want to play Yufberg. This card, on the other hand, I would play fucking a shit ton of this card because this card is fucking busted. And why is this card only a double rare this card could have been easily the triple rare it could have been the triple rare instead of that fucking shit triple rare in this set but at least it's a double rare and it's a fucking good card jesus just give a drive check like zest is now double critical uh 38 with a uh, with a drive check if you persona ride um gust now became twin drive like overall this card is fucking amazing And of course, you know, Tempest with a drive check is just good. Like, drive checking in Vanguard. The more drive checks you do, the better your odds are. Like, yes, you that got faster, but hitting more triggers, especially in a format where the over trigger is Zix. More drive checks means more chances of winning. Basically. Very simplified, but basically. I'm starting to realize that if I do more streams like this, I'm going to be ranting a lot. If I'm not careful, I'm going to say something very stupid. <laughs> and it's going to be on the internet forever. Yeah, I'm probably going to say something very stupid someday. Hello, what am I talking about? Something I probably already said something very stupid. Oh God. There we go. To do one more thing with once I make this card because I just realized as much as I'm enjoying the lo-fi it's not doing much for me as much as it's doing for you guys so that my voice is not the only thing you hear like if I shut up at least the lo-fi music's in the background but for re me right now no I already did that shit. Uh, but for me right now listen to lo-fi is nice but my head's getting a little bit warm with the headphones so i'm gonna probably take the headphones off here in a second once i make this damn card there we go oh oh that's liberation and i can hear myself better nice anyway uh you guys still hear the lo-fi i don't anymore but i can cool off a little bit uh anyway did we just make you hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer this this card right here Graham Grace loves this card. Hell, Fedria loves this card. This card is really good for both of those decks. I can also see it in Hexorb, but unlike Fedria and Graham Grace, for some reason Hexorb has trouble persona riding, or at least in my experience, me piloting the deck, as evidence in the videos we've recorded where I play Hexorb and it's like the amount of times that Persona Red is something's not computing right. But for the decks that can consistently Persona Red, now this is a fucking good card. Let me just remember what it does again. Like I kind of remember what it does, but 
this one more time. During the battle, this is unit attack. If you persona road this turn 5k and run your opponent. Okay, it's a Belladora. It's a 5k Belladora, which means on its own, on its own, it's a 20k, a 28k be uh, beater. Which for a Baldor effect, that means they ju can't just throw down a front trigger. They have to throw down something else, which is honestly really good. Put this in Graham Grace uh, behind the Vanguard. It's still a 28k. Actually, no. Graham Grace gives the Persona right to the back and the 10k. So this is a 38k beater in Graham Grace in the back row center. This is a good card. Like, this is legitimately a good card. And, and Thegria, like I said, can act actually benefit from this card as well. And it's only a rare. Jesus. It's only a rare. It's this good. Push this up to double rare. Push the witch up to triple rare. Make that triple rare that's shit into a rare. And we're good. Okay, 0 43 and 0 44. Oh, sorry. I, was like, I don't remember... All the times I actually typed in the numbers and that somehow they're labeled properly. So I'm kind of repressed in my subconscious. Ah, chat's a thing. Whoops. <laughs> uh, you got a challenger? Where? Who's challenging me? Where? All right, I got to see this. Oh, God. Uh, would the card that has a skill that can change the name of the card not the soul go for? Ah, it'd be, it'd be weird, really janky. Uh, you has transcended to mid-break. Looks like Leonor from comparison with Shadow Pan likes to have a word. What did I say? Hold up. What what did I say? They only need to a legend deck and the man, uh, main set made it insane. Where did I get a challenger? Hold up. I am very confused with what you guys are talking about right now. I am not the smartest. You guys have to blame and turns it. Jewel Core works so well with Bruce. Oh, yeah. Jewel Core, I can see you working really well with Bruce. Just need a Bruce with first rush. <laughs> Bruce with first rush. Nice. I, I would love that. Cross rush is first rush. Uh, truly, you're a man of dark states. Yes, I am. Uh, they make the new Bruce just Spy Brother where you put the cards on the deck. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, actually, I, I want to keep the Bruce gimmick of multi-attack. That would be cool, but please keep him all today. Uh, Thugger uses her pre- Yep. Up uh, oh, that would be cool. Where is this challenger thing? Hold up. You guys have piqued my interest with this whole... Me getting a new challenger. Oh, I need someone to elaborate while I continue making proxies. So if I see in my peripheral there's something move, actually I'm gonna put the chat right here. If I see something move, I'll look. But someone needs to explain to me what the fuck are, uh, you guys are talking about challengers. I will fixate on something. I think am I having? Yeah, I will fixate on something and I will not let it go until I get my answers. It might be very idiotic. Oh shit, what happened here? When did this happen? Okay, that far back. Cool. So nothing too major. Alright, some of the proxies in the videos are going to look a little bit wonky. <sighs> Whoops. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I am not going back. No, 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 I'm not going back and fixing all that. Fuck that. It, that kind of mistake I'm, I will live with. Uh, copy one. This honestly was a very surprising car for a rear. Like, I honestly really like this car. It's just like cannabis one on place. Look at top three, stack them in any order. It's generic, like, of course, it can be meant for Hexor because, you know, Hexor always wants a stack deck. But it's not restricted to anything, which means it's generic, which means any deck can run it. So if you can manage a CB, stacking your deck is always nice. Just knowing what's on top, seeing if you can draw anything or put triggers on top or rearrange stuff. It's like, yes, please, this is actually really good. 
Like I'm a very much a fan of this card. Chip, chip. Uh, Legend deck being me meta quicker than okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Now I get it. The SP Legend deck, yeah, yeah, okay, fair, 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 fair. Thank you. Like I said, I'm an idiot, so you guys gotta sometimes explain it in layman's terms for me. But there's stuff that happens on Twitter in the Vanguard community that I'm like, am I missing a joke? I feel like I'm missing a joke. Like for example, the Puerto Rico thing. It's like, go into BCS Puerto Rico and you just see everybody on Twitter around Vanguard just saying, ah, go into BCS Puerto Rico and all that. And it's like, Am I missing a joke here somewhere? Am I being an idiot? I'm being uncultured. And I just, and then me typing, going to BCS leads and completely missing the joke of the whole thing. <laughs> Sup? All right, we both make chat and Palmer. Chat and Palmer, yep. Just made those, yep. And now we get to the commons of the set there. Honestly, I, their commons. I do miss when Bushiro would actually make good commons like um, Selfish Engraver. That card's always go that card is gonna be ran in decks forever. It's like probably one of the better counter charges Dark States has. I have a really good counter charger in Bruce, and it fits my deck style really well. I already did that shit. Seventy five. Uh, the great two that turns into a 15k booster is also a good card for you, Burke. Yes, yes, it is. When Sanctuary Guard comes back, but he's bad. Tell me this card doesn't look like Saint Guard. This is someone else. Like the Daigo set card, the the boss unit of that thing. Maybe six. Boom, 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 boom. Oh god, hello. The card I was talking about it was soul focused overload built our uh, dragger sh Oh okay, so okay, now I get it. Oh, that's a very interesting deck list. That is a very interesting uh, concept. See, I love that about Vanger, being able to just come up with ideas and then execute. Like, the new Grey 3 boss units that don't have ride lines are really good examples of exactly that. It's like, here's a boss unit. It has Vanguard abilities. We're not going to give them a ride line or any dedicated support, so figure it out. Oops. Fucked it up, thank you. Uh, 75, 76, se zero, 75, and zero, 76. That's not a 75. Um, like when we first did the com, was it, he's a common or a rare? I can't forget from boost sets, uh, seven, the grade three that soul blasts six grade zeros and then soul charges six and gives six units 10k. I was like. All right, he's got at least one card in support in the grade one. What else do we fucking put in here to make this shit work? And then we got a Dark States promo that was a boss unit and worked around grade three. So it's like Dark States Bastion. And now we got another promo for Brent Gate. Like, that, honestly, the, that last promo, um, this bubble right here. He was probably the funnest to try to figure out a deck list and then actually play it. Like, he was super fun. For anybody that watched that video and watched Game 3 and the shenanigan that happened in Game 3, oh my god, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Alright. Damn it. Just trying to fucking... There we go. 77. Alright, move now. 
Cards without ride lines makes deck building more fun. Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. I, it, uh, <laughs> it does make it fun. It makes it challenging because it's like, what do I put in here? Like, you got to go from really scratch and just figure out, okay, what does this deck want to do? The X. Okay, how can I do X by putting Y cards in and then tweaking and fixing? Like, for those of you who might not have watched it, I put in two copies of Fly Shits Maximum and two copies of the uh, on place Cannabis One, Soul Bless One, Operator uh, card in your order zone cards just for the reason of if I ride Ertograma and I managed to rip off Fly Shits Maximum off the top five, it will go to order zone. And then if I call this card down, Counter Bless One, Soul Bless One, I can operate it. Counter Bless One, bounce the same exact card that I just called back to my hand and make fly shits into a rear guard. That's a 23k. So if I st if I have enough orders in there, I just restand a 23k swinger. It was an idea and it was like a fun idea. It never actually happened on video because I never saw the two pieces at the same time. So if I'm going to make any change, I'm probably going to take those four cards out and then put other cards in to make it a little bit more streamlined because I feel like combine rusher was a really good addition uh, was a really good car for that deck just because you're always going to have at minimum two set orders in there so he's always going to be swinging for with that extra 10 and i don't mention you're running so many set orders you're probably going to see them in your hand um just double checking this yeah you're probably gonna see them in your hand which means when you play a car a set order from your hand he, you can counter bless one and call him the actual grade three doesn't cannibal blast any, so you're only cannibal blasting for your orders and combine. And so it, it worked out really well. And then the hero base was also the other idea. It was like, well, look, I play this hero. Not only is she a 15k if I have a base, I can search her out, I can deck thin, and I can also um, pop a unit if it, like I have a retiring mechanic. So I feel like those two were really good picks when I did the deck. That was just to figure out, just maximize, minimize, maybe throw in something else that just might work. And why is there a T here? There we go. All right. So I got him. Moving on. If you have a few more regards, grace, you to choose. He's a bot decker. Echo would love this card. I'm so sad Echo left right now. Like, he would love this card. He's trying to make... Or he he, he is very enticed by a Youthberg bot deck version. Where you play a lot of cards that just bottom deck all of your opponent's stuff. It's like you play against Nirvana. It's like watch them cry as I bottom your stack. But it's honestly not a bad concept. This could be a card for it, but it's a little bit. I won't say cost heavy, more restricted. Because you have, if you have three or more grade three or greater units, Youthberg, you're not going to have three or more grade three or greater units because you want to save your Youthbergs and your uh, revolt forms in your hand to do shit with them. And the only other grade three in Youthberg that I think you run is the guard restrict dragon and that's it so this card would not be good for his version or maybe if he dedicates it for i don't know i'll leave that code to fairy crafting around that right, yep. oh eric's leaving me too all right enjoy whatever you're gonna do also do keep in touch with that other project because I do want to make some changes already. <laughs> this is damn triggering. It still hurts. What do you do again? I see something about crit. When you're critical to a greater Vanguard attack, Soul Bless one, this unit gets 5k until the end of... Why is there a T always there? You can get better in that. This card is only good in my top of my head for PBO, and that's it. Three, nine. Is there any other deck that just native gleans? Uh, unless you restand and give them. Cr uh, it's too. It's a too iffy card. It doesn't happen that often. You're not gonna put like this card is also a good example of too iffy. Like, hey, I can pull it off. Maybe? Am I in a dire position? Do I see this card to pull this off? Yes? No? Maybe? Let's hope. 
backs up, so that's 80. Oh god. Starting to get cross-eyed a little bit. Let's be honest, I'm probably am never going to use these cards, but still, just in case, I'd like to have them. Zero seventy-nine and zero eighty. That is one thing I'm glad I stayed on top of. Like, whenever we started doing proxy play and actually putting up the proxies in the Google Drive for, you know, y'all to actually access, we started in V. So there was a lot of cards from other sets that we didn't do. There was the cards that we missed. They were, you know, because we started in the middle somewhere. And it was like people asking, hey, can we get this? Can we get that? And then find that time to go backtrack. And it's like, it became really much of a nightmare. So whenever they did the reboot, I was like, all right, from the start, we're going to keep up. We're not going to miss any set. We're going to keep up and just stay on top of it so that people don't message us and go hey can you update this or upload this or yada yada people still do that because i don't upload on time that's my own fault but at least we don't have backtracking thankfully and when it comes to monster strike i don't know yet <laughs> all right last cutter card that's very confusing for bastion it's like Oh, look, you didn't rip any gray threes. You get to do your thing, but it, you know, meh. Oh, come on. There we go. Nope, not quite. Now we got it. Holy shit. Oh, 80. Almost there. Final home stretch is upon us. Why am I double clicking that? There we go, there we go, there we go. Zero eighty one and zero eighty two. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Yes, there you go. Uh, people are starting to leave oh no I do like if anybody needs to go to bed or has that other things to do do I do want to just say right now if I miss you saying goodbye a little bye bye thank you for joining in uh, we're gonna keep trucking here we got one more nation oh we first gotta upload this hi yeah hi yeah but yeah I'm very much appreciative to anybody and everybody that joins in on these like I don't, I, I'm pretty. I, I don't know if this is entertaining or not. Me just spouting out bullshit while I'm making proxies, but hey, maybe it's something. It's better than nothing. There we go. Nope, not you. There we go. Make these yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn it! I missed one, didn't I? All right, who did I miss? 77 and 78. That's who I missed. What's 77 and 78? So this was 81 and 82. Which means this is 80. This is 80, not 79. Which means you are 78 and 77. So I missed these two. Great. Let's see here. Huh? Okay. When this card attacks, okay. So I think these are the correct effects for this because this is when I hit, choose one of your punch figures, put it into the bottom of the deck, and then the three or more, yeah. Bond deck cards. One, two, three, four. Only three. One, two, three. Good thing I counted. I had a feeling I missed one of them. What's uh, up? 077 and 078. There we go. Now we got all of them. I might as well mark it already here. Boom. Boom. There, now we got all of them. Back over here. Uh, 
here at this and upload. Uh, I'm still waiting custom over trigger with TDH members as the. You know what? You know, why is it? Okay, we're gonna address the 3am bar here in a second, but you know what? I've been having something go through my mind and you might have just sparked something. So I'm gonna take a screenshot right now. So I don't forget this moment. And if I do do this, I'm gonna shout you out. But if this happens in the future, you're to thank. God damn it, I hate when people give me ideas that I actually do wanna do. Um, it's 3 a.m. here and I just drank coffee. Are you crazy? <laughs> we do have a meme going in our group. Sleep is for the week. But at the same time, I am a real person and I go, do go get some sleep. Don't do this to yourself. We got Connor in our group. He is an insomniac. Literally, he doesn't get enough sleep. And we see what happens to him. So please get enough sleep because we don't want that happening to you. Uh, I'm, I was never a fan of semi D like I saw some people do semi D I'm not gonna call them out uh, and I was wasn't really a fan of it it's like I get why but at the same time we're it's a form I'm being very hypocritical and I'll explain why I get the concept and I get the appeal but semi D never really clicked to me because it's like a format that actually doesn't get played so why are you doing it and I am saying this being completely hypocritical when whenever we did a little thing called reverse deck format. It is also a format that technically doesn't exist and you're never going to play, but we thought it was funny. So uh, personally, I don't like semi, uh, semi D. My, my reasonings are completely idiotic, so I'm not going to... Uh, hold myself to be completely right in any way shape or form but damn reverse deck format was funny if anybody doesn't know what reverse deck format is it, we basically did a couple of videos i think it was like two where the whole concept is you play the normal game but your deck is literally turned f uh, upside down so instead of seeing the back of the card you see the top of the card so you always know what the top of the card deck is it was fucking hilarious because you would do some effect that draws your card and then that would be your, like your last draw in the turn and you just see either the over trigger or a heal trigger or a crit trigger on top and your opponent just goes fuck my best the best moments were it's like all right i just finished my turn here's my last attack i'm gonna put you to five i'm at three damage cool um no like second to last attack hit cool you're going to five put the five damage in the top card is a heal and it's like well if i swing at you you're just gonna heal so i'm not gonna win so now that changes all my plans like, like if anybody wants to go watch that stupidity just find our reverse deck formats that was some stupid games but they were funny <laughs> uh if i'm thinking correctly sammy d is when when I saw Sammy D being done on YouTube by another channel, it was basically taking V era cards and combining it with D era cards because we didn't have enough D era cards. This was literally at the release of Overdress, um, so they were just taking cards from V and then splicing them together with D cards. I think it's still the same, but instead of doing V cards, maybe you do premium cards. Regardless, I'm not 100% sure what it is. So if uh, Nazim can completely explain it. Go for it. That's just what I remember. Uh, Dark States Connor, Dragon Emperor Alex. Oh, wait. Philip is Dark States Connor, is Dragon Emperor Alex is Keter. Alex is Asterisk to Kea more than Keter. If we go through our group, I'm definitely Dark States. Lon is Brankgate. Connor is Dragon Empire. Keter is Hector. And Alex is Stoikea. So that, those would be the. And then we got Shane. I'm so uh, so sad for Shane because he's he likes to try all the decks so he doesn't really have a real identity in a nation like he just now fell into Dark States and I'm glad I have another partner in Dark States. Uh, well, Lawrence technically was my partner in Dark States, but he was more focused on Brain Cave. He loves Bear Magnus, but he loves more Brain Cave decks than Dark States decks. Shane really jumped into Dark States like he's getting the jewel, he's getting bruised, like oh he's going into Dark States hard, and I'm all up for it. 
me and my friend tried a game where the triggers will will do the op. Oh, so you played, you played Star Hulk format is what I'm hearing. You played Star Hulk form. For anybody that knows what Star Hulks are, you played that format. You God. Simity is basically mixing D format and V format. Only rule can only ride grade three or greater D cars. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's basically yeah. That's a really good example uh, explanation of what semi D is. It's a very interesting concept. I'm just not a fan of it. It's just my personal thing. Like I'm, I don't have anything against it. I'm just not a fan of it. All right. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna start prepping Stakea cards because we're currently streaming for two hours and fifty minutes. I want to get done before three thirty, uh, three hours and thirty minutes, so I can get something to eat, chill before I go to bed, and all that. So, Stoikea, last little bit. Please be 18 cards. I'm pretty sure it is, but still. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Sweet. Let's just do this real quick, too. Uh, honestly, I like this card. She's got potential. She can be really useful, depending on what we get. And then this card... Is fucking amazing and Leonor needed it. Uh, Maggie, amazing card for Maggie. You got a beater, counter charger, and a soul charger. Really good card for Flagberg. Gotta be careful with timing. Mech card, I, I like it, but I can see why people don't want to run it and I agree with them. Fuck, Mag got stupid with this card. This should have been a triple rare. And I now we get into the territory of I don't know, know what the fuck they do. Oh, this is an amazing card for Flapper, though. Like, fuck, make him free. Why not? That's a okay card. And now I really go into the territory of... Oh, I forgot what these do. We'll figure it out. I don't know what I tried there, so... Don't hold it against me, please. Alright. I think we got all of them. Let me double check. Let me double check. I feel like I missed one. I don't know why. Let's see here, right here. Yeah, 17. I did miss one. Three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, I missed 87. Haha. -ha. I'm glad I got this weird intuition for this shit. Yeah, there you go. I missed her. Him. It. I can't tell what gender this is, and I'm not gonna keep guessing. Not this day and age. Alright, that's with that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, ten. I've got an order, I gotta remember that. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Last. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I know what glitches it. Hold on, let me go over here. Yay, hello, welcome back. Uh, I think I'm starting to figure out what glitches it. It's me downloading all the images at once. It, it probably, because, you know, I'm uploading right now the stream, which means me downloading shit is gonna uh, bounce back and forth. So we're back to normal, I wanna say. I really hope we're back to normal, but I think we're good. Uh, there's gonna be a glitch that happened should have been a glitch that happens. I guess it doesn't happen right now. But still, because I wanted to do it, I'm going to press the button and I'll go see you guys in five seconds. Well, welcome back. I think back, I counted to five. If you guys didn't hit the skip button, or if there was no skip button, then I'm just talking to the ether right now. Uh, but, you know, there's a button for ads, and I'm abusing it. Why? Because apparently I can. I've been given power, and I am misusing it. Oh, Grant, I won't say misusing. If I was really misusing that, I would be pressing that ad button every five minutes. Every pro like every time I make a proxy ad. Ad, ad, give me that revenue, ad. <laughs> Alright. There we go. 
up, what's up? Oh yeah, we need to go to phase five, Stoichea. Boost at seven. Holy shit. There you go, there we go. One of those are nice ear scratches, just pleasing. There we go. All right, so okay, so I officially started. Let's. Damn it! Hold up. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna put you guys in another ad. Oh, why is it black? Oh, why is it black? Oh, okay, is it working now? Oh god, why was it black? Alright, we're good now? Are we good? Everybody see this? If I move it? Alright. I think we should be back to normal. Uh, what were some of the questions? How about format that riding to grade 3 you ride to... I don't want to even know that. <laughs> Uh, how about a half deck format, basically 25 cards deck where you can only run two copies of everything? Oh, you're talking about draft. <laughs> uh, do you proxy every card? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because you never know what people might want to run. Excuse me. Like, you never know what people might want to run. Like, if someone gets interested in the Stoikea and they... There's a common they don't have and want to test it out before they buy it bulk or whatever. It's like, hey, it's available. It's one of those things, like, I know some of this old V proxies probably don't get opened or used anymore. But they're still there just in case if anybody does stumble upon them and find them and need them. It's like, you know, just in case. Cover all the bases rather than, you know, people going, oh, sad, they don't have this. What's saying under deliver no over no under promise over deliver in a very obscure meaning right now. Where did Mario theme just pop into my head out of? Am I really getting that tired that just random Mario is popping into my head? Zero one three and zero one four. Let's go. Did I fuck up? I think I fucked up somewhere. No, not you. Okay, I didn't fuck up, but I forgot to do the resonance dragon. Hold up. That would have been very interesting when I ever did uh, more uh, Leonorn gameplays. Like, ah, I need to put the Resonance Dragon uh, card in here to show it on screen. Where is it? <laughs> there we go. Moving on to Alpin. Alpin is such a good card. And they did really well with the card design and effect, effect wise for Alpin. Like, that's such a good car for Maggie right now. Oh, downloads, so that's 15. What's up? Come on. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, hey, Bella. Con yes, it's you, Mario. <laughs> How long have you been here? Yeah, uh, you have ever those times where you're testing hands and you, uh, you either do extremely well or you can't find your pieces. Oh, 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 that is. Oh, no, no, no. What you just said is every single fucking video. Me and Alex, before we start recording, we prep the decks and then get on Discord call. So while we're waiting for each other, we sometimes shadow play. Basically, just see what kind of hands we get, play it out, kind of imaginary damage, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> And there's multiple times I test out a deck and I go, 
oh my god this deck is shit it is not going to perform well or oh my god this is amazing it's going to do so well and then we hit record and the opposite happened there was a good example i think it was i can't remember oh it was leonorn with inlet pulse and the, the this resonant dragon right here when alex first time tested this deck out with inlet pulse and resonant dragon we get on the call and he goes i am so sorry i always get this combo it is such a stupid combo it is so amazing we hit record i don't think he got that combo i think he got that combo off once so what you just said is fucking true it's traumatizing Alpin. So good. Mouse is starting to glitch a little bit. Or maybe it was just my eyes. Mouse, eyes, same difference. Oh boy. 15, 28. Flyber got some really good cards in this set as well. Yeah, we'll need that later. Like this is honestly a really good card for Flyberg. It's like you gotta be careful on your attack pattern. But the fact that it gains 5k after it swings, it's honest. Like it would have been better, of course, if it gained 5k when it did swing. But still gaining 5k overall just is good. Like uh, I think Alex did a really good plays whenever we tested this out. Because it's one of those things like you fear the defensive trigger where your opponent's at um, grade 3. So if she on her own, if you don't Persona Ride, she's not going to hit. So you boost her with anything. The boot is probably going to be like an 18k swing. And then when she resets, she's a 15 on her own. So her combined with the new promo, dude, Flybird Guard, uh, the deck is getting really solid. Like, it's already... Do Holy shit, what happened? We're going to have to redo that whole page. Uh, luckily, I think I saved her effect, so we can just do this little number. Okay, so we can recopy this. Man, Marco just came in and came out. that come over here make sure and delete that pdf3 save replace and we're good uh i always do some shadow fights where they're perfectly fine get every piece and then actually fight out with them. yeah yeah that the, the amount of times that's happened to us like that's one of the beauties of what we do on the channel is we go into the games and we just do them Whatever happens, happens. And the amount of times bullshit happens in our videos when we hit record, we're starting to question that the universe is playing toys with us. Because you guys have seen most of our videos, or some of them. Uh, the amount of times shenanigans happens, like shit that should not be happening on a regular basis or at all, it kind of tends to happen a lot in our videos. And those are like just like one take, two take, three take, that's it. We don't go, we don't play six matches and then pick six the best match. No, we play three matches and those are the three matches you see. And somehow always shenanigan happen. Always some stupid bullshit. It's not supposed to happen, happens. I don't know how. I don't know what powers of the universe are doing shit. It happens. Uh, yay. What you playing? What you playing, boy? What you playing? Yeah, Proxy does have this weird natural factor where you play the deck first and amazing, but for the second time, never sing. <sighs> preaching to the choir. Holy shit, preaching to the choir. What's it doing? Oh, God, I have lost my train of progress. Oh, yeah, we just made this. Festo's Dragon. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Now we're making this boy. Cyril. Sounds like a Pokemon. 
<laughs> if Pokemon starts running out of ideas, just turn to anger for some. This legitimately looks like a Pokemon. It's even called like one. Serol. What's up? Downloads. Let's see here. That was 28. This is 30. Holy shit. Artboard range two go. Maybe get a better chair. From a rear when you're all doing a sync on this unit. Oh yeah, it's this thing. Eh, it's not bad, but it's not good. Like I can honestly see it be ran in uh, in a version of a deck. Why would you? Nope, don't save it. Don't save it. You're getting good at it, Phil. Just don't save it. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> anyway. Hey, no. Ooh, no, don't jump to 83. It's 47, Phil. 47. Not that far yet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I miss something again. Yep, I missed those two. Oh, go backtrack. Fuck. I'm in the last stretch, and I'm doing more mistakes than I did in the previous four nations. Jesus, gotta focus. Alright, is this 47, and this must be 48. Go and there we go. Gonna make this real quick. Nope. There we go. We're gonna make this real quick. Zero forty seven zero forty eight. Ow, what does my knee hurt? Oh god. Oh god. My knee just started hurting out of nowhere. Oh, that's a weird feeling. Boom. We're gonna go backtrack a shit ton. We've got Cyril. Right, I think that's it. Uh, when is Hune Lear known? Yep. And when are you with Persona Ride? Vanguard, Maggie. Yep. Alright, these two. Three. Yep. Three, uh, zero twenty-nine and zero thirty. Without the dot, please. EDF three save save. Moving on. This thing may flag work free. I don't know how I feel about that. This thing literally just made Flagberg free. And when I say Flagberg, I mean his effect. It's like, oh, you don't have to CB. Just do it. What the fuck? Uh, oh, damn it. Did I save the card? Now I'm getting back in my habits again. Damn it. That was so good. I didn't save one card. And now I finally do it. Damn it. Oh, well. 49, 49. Save it. One. Good. Good. Moving on. Ah, oh, damn the order. That's right. Sympathize decibel. Chip, chip, chip. Well, you still have to change that. Nope. Don't. 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 What's up? Last one, right? Yeah, there it is. Damn it, I keep putting T's in. Let's see here. <sighs> that works. Oop. There you go. One, two, 
two, three, one, two, three, and one. Oh my god, home stretch. Come on, Phil. Only eight more cards after this. Only eight more cards after this. We got this. Wait, is this a... Oh, you mean the... Oh, is the, the lo-fi music playing up back on that? Like, it's... Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. I thought you were making some weird joke that I was not understanding was going over my head. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Yes, I think this is Attack on Titan. Uh, that just stopped everything I was doing in my head. Oh, God. Oh, uh, where are we? What year is this? Ah, yeah, here. Yes, this is Attack on Titan, Eric. No, this is Attack on Titan right now. Yeah, this is Attack on Titan. What are you talking about? Whoops. myself with my own mic yes I watch anime a lot so I missed the song sweet okay right, we're gonna put my headphones back on for the last stretch for lo-fi cuz see <laughs> Sasago this should be 83 right yeah Oh no, my locals in America just got promo packs. Apparently my local shop in America just got some promo packs. Hell yeah. What's going on? Oh, that's what I did. Whoops. What is this again? I think this is Bunny Girl still. No, still. I think this is Bunny Girl. Or was. Maybe it's not anymore. I uh, already watched Redo a Healer. Uh, you, I actually accidentally watched Redo a uh, Accidentally. I watched Redo a Healer twice. Because first time was intentional. The second time, Facebook just recommended a shit ton of it. Get on my level. Should be eighty four. Where I went wrong, what I do now? No, 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 I watched it the first time. What was the site I watched it on? Because you couldn't watch it on Crunchyroll. <laughs> Um, I don't remember what the actual site I watched it on, but then later, like a couple, like legitimately a couple months ago, for some reason, Facebook recommended the full uncensored episode of it. And I was like, all right. And then it kept recommending it. And I was like, fuck it. I guess I'll watch it a second time. 
and it wasn't even in order like i watched episode six accidentally and then facebook recommended episode four and then episode three and then episode tw uh nine is like i was jumping up and down it's like oh fuck it <laughs> What is the anime site I use now? Okay, I use Crunchyroll primarily. Like, I got a Crunchyroll subscription, and it's doing me really good. I'm watching Blue Lock right now. Of course, I'm watching Chainsaw Man. I'm watching uh, Beast Tamer. I need to catch up. I'm watching the new one from uh, the Ninja one, uh, Itori, or something like that. I forgot what it actually the name, the full name was. Oh, what else I'm watching this season? I'm catching up with My Hero this season keeping up because this is going to be a one hell of an arc um there's another one i'm missing and i can't remember what it was but yeah i'm keeping up with all so crunchyroll is my primary form of watching anime and then i have hold up did i just finish this uh okay put made you there i made you there so yeah i can use this um primarily using any mix play i highly recommend that website any mix play is a really good website and it's got all the animes right now on it so it's like <sighs> one piece is like okay I'll, bi I'll binge whatever i haven't watched yet and then leave it and then binge whatever i watched yet and leave it like I, I, one piece is re like I, I i i acknowledge one piece is good but it's really hard for me to keep watching on a regular basis because it just drags so much I have a tough time now with blue lock like blue lock uh, I've really fallen into it and every single episode I end with god fucking damn it why is this gotta be a weekly basis I want the next episode the only reason chainsaw man isn't like that is because I exactly know what's gonna happen because I read the manga and I can't fucking wait for them to animate that part so I can wait for that but blue lock I got no clue what the fuck that thing is in I'm actually enjoying watching it 85 dude one piece is like when i first started watching one piece oh god what am i doing when i first started watching one piece i got the episode like a hundred and 114 or something like that because we were in the I think it was called the Alabasta arc in the desert and then I stopped watching it I don't remember what reason but I dropped it then and I never picked it up since then and then thanks to Facebook recommendations and clips on Facebook and I don't know what else I kind of want to say I caught up I know I'm missing a lot of in between pieces but most of the major plot points I already know so I was just like okay episode 1000 hit I'm just going to start watching one piece from here and I basically did that. 86. Blowing up the group chat. Oh god, that's the wrong button. I don't know what that button is, so let's hope it doesn't do anything. Some of this lo fi stuff is hitting really good. Like, I honestly don't know what this is. I can't really pu uh, put my finger on it, but it's, it's really, really good. I remember you. I need to. Like, what is l legit? What is this? This is really good. If you're mad at me that I don't know what this song is, or if you're mad at me for something else, you're gonna have to elaborate because I honestly don't, uh, got no clue what you're mad about right now. Because <laughs> I'm actually chilling at this song. I have no clue what it is. Uh, let me look. 
Oh, damn it, it just stopped as I was gonna look what it is. Damn it. Well, if it ever starts playing again, I'll know. I really like the Attack on Titan here on the Lo-Fi Station. That doesn't look like the right card. Yeah, because it's not. It needs to be at eight. Oh, the way I watched One Piece. Look, man, all right? I don't got time to sit there for a thousand episodes. I watched a hundred. I figured out the rest of the story through clips. And then I started at a thousand. I'm probably going to be doing the same thing for Bleach because I stopped Bleach at the Vampire arc and I'm actually legit curious to see this new season. I haven't started watching it yet, but I want to see what this new season has to offer. Ah, I forgot to copy your name. Yeah, definitely putting the stream next time on 30 FPS and low latency. That way, it's not going to be as choppy. I don't think it's that choppy, but it's not doing 60 FPS, which is like, well, why did I set it to 60 FPS if it's not going to do 60 FPS? Um, but at least ultra low latency is going to be a little bit more, I get to talk to you guys easier type deal. Nope. Nope. Damn it. I am really starting to not focus. Oh, come on. Focus. Last. Yeah, something's not right. I am fucking up somewhere. No way. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. No way. I am. No, I'm fucking it somewhere. Hold up. Yes, yeah, this should be the last card. Wait, what? This is the last card, right? Okay, yeah, this is the last card. Oh, my God. We're at the last card. Cool. Shooter, save it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mer, mer. There you go. Flip it. Spread it. Save it. Uh, zero, nine, zero, and zero, nine, one. Ninety. Wait, ninety one. That doesn't sound right. If there's eighteen per. Eight, well, hold up, that doesn't sound right. 91. We're gonna save you, cause... Uh, yeah, okay, I did miss something. I knew I was missing something. What the fuck did I do? Alright, Phil, where'd you fuck up? Oh, it's not 91, I'm just an idiot. The normal shin, they got it. So, nine... Hey, darling in the Franks, fuck yes. 
good way to end it or not end it yet but just be here at the ending with it all right 90 90 yep that sounds more right that sounds more right because it's like five times 18 is 90 or at least it should be and it is i think okay cool we can quit this we can quit this by saving it or you can go to the google drive Header, standard, Stoichea. Delete this, remove, upload, reverse label them. Is it not all of them? That should be none of them, right? Yep, sweet. Boop. Upload. Final stretch, final stretch. How about Demon Slayer? Fuck yeah, I love Demon Slayer. Episode 19 soundtrack slapped in season one, and then season two was just a masterpiece from start to finish. The visual candy that last fight brought us was be fucking beautiful. Just been at this for a bit, huh? Yeah, it's uh, just like under three hours and 30 minutes. Like, just finished Sakea. So share, so whatever it's called. And with that, the proxies of set seven have been officially updated. There we go. Everybody enjoy them. Uh, I'm gonna start slowly updating boost set eight stuff. I think all the deck lists have been updated properly, so none of those should be not updated. I have updated I'm gonna be updating soon with boost set eight, what we're gonna be using here in a bit. So I'll put those up as well. Um, but other than that, I think I'm gonna slowly start ending the stream here because we got set eight up or set seven up All of it set eight starting to leak. I think lyrical's good where it's at and nobody's been complaining to me about lyrical And I think all the key cards are in there Um, shaman king's done dragon Yeah, I think we're good All right And from what I can tell the stream has been working fine. No real major problems I need to update the chat. I need to make it just a tiny bit bigger. I don't think that's big enough. Uh, the background animation is working. The card animation in the heroes is flipping properly. So that's good. Uh, the capture screen is working. Like, let me show you guys what I mean by what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to give you a preview. Ah, come on. Give it. Connect. Connect. Cool. Okay, we're going to turn this off. And there we go. I've been playing Master Duel with Alex to kind of um, turn you off. I don't need you anymore. Anyway, I've been kind of playing Master Duel with Alex to kind of uh, test out the things. But yeah, basically this is how it's going to look. I got my switch right here and it's connected. There we go. I can move it up and down. <laughs> Uh, but let's see here. You guys should be able to also hear the game. Why can't I hear the game is better question. Hold up. No, not that. I should be able to hear the game. Cause I can't. Oh, no. yeah. Why can't I hear the game? Can you guys hear the game? Okay, you guys do hear the game. I just oh, I know why I can't hear the game. The actual volume on my end is low because of the lo-fi music. I'm gonna put the game probably game volume probably to there. I think that'll be somewhat good whenever I do deer days. But yeah, that's gonna basically how it's gonna be, uh, look. I can actually hear the game myself as well. So yeah, sweet. Everything seems to be working. And yeah, I think we're going to slowly end the stream here. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. And we can turn this off. Uh, Thursday we're going to be recording the Thegria and Eva cars. I don't know what else what we're going to be putting up against them. Maybe we're just going to put them against each other. Who knows? We'll still figure that out. And then, of course, next Tuesday we got the new ride line as well as next stage leaking. So we're going to get those videos recorded as well. It's going to be a fun time. 
And then when Dear Days comes out, it's like Dear Days content and Dear Days streams. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I did mention that. So for anybody who did stuck around, uh, Dear Days content is going to be basically just going through the story mode. It's going to be videos normally. But Dear Days streams, I'm just going to be chilling and playing against other people. So if anybody wants to, it has a Switch and we'll get Dear Days. Um, just we'll figure it out. Join our Discord or or... We'll figure out a system like it's it's going to be a very much a crash course of figure it out as you go. But we're, I'm going to try to play against other people out there, you guys, whoever wants to play and then just go from there and just have fun. I'm definitely going to set goals like I want to build this deck, this deck and this deck and this is going to be goals. But yeah. Uh, anyway, it's 930 here. I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm going to go get some food and get some rest. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I probably should put back lo-fi as an ending so I don't leave you in complete silence. Music? Music, come on. Music? Oh, that's loud in my ears, but probably good for you guys. All right. Bye.